And uh, we thank him for his mercy as shown towards all of us, how he has blessed us and seen fit not to destroy us, uh, but allow us to be here again. Uh, we do always give due respect uh, to his servants of the past. As you know, the holy prophets of olden time uh, spoke God's word faithfully, and uh, the apostles followed after that. Uh, we thank God for them. Uh, we want you always also to be mindful and prayerful for our leader, Pastor Jennings, who continues to labor with all of us uh, in God's word and God's commandments and God's laws and statutes and doctrines. Uh, let us continue to pray for also the other ministering brethren uh, throughout the world. Uh, to those that are perhaps visiting here and the saints of God, we greet you always in the name of the Lord Jesus. Again, we just like to remind you that uh, we're assembled here uh, for hearing of the Word of God, uh, something that is so very needful in our lifetime and will continue to be needful as long as man is here in this world. Uh, I want you to continue to remember the sick and the afflicted brethren across the world and uh, those especially that are still waiting on God for the promise of the Holy Ghost, uh, that God may fill them in due time. Is that right? Uh, for those who are watching and listening, uh, again, we'd like to remind you, this is the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program uh, coming to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, our headquarters assembly is located at 5105 North 5th Street. That's North 5th Street at the intersection of that address and Lindley Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America where the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and he is our general overseer. Uh, this program is on the air for your edification, uh, that you may understand what the will of God is concerning your life while you have a chance uh, to do what the Lord says. Is that right? The program, as we said before, is unscripted, uh, is not prepared in advance in no way, and is also commercial free. Uh, it's driven, my God, and the word given is given by the Holy Ghost. Here now is our leader, teacher, guide, and he's the messenger and the ambassador of the Almighty God, the Apostle, Pastor Gino oh, yeah. Jennings. You may be seated, brothers and sisters. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Again, we thank the one true living God for his divine wisdom and his perfect an infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for being the true sender and teacher of holy prophets and of holy apostles. We thank him for the way of holiness, which is the perfect way. It's the best way, and it's a strong way. God have been good to us. It's good to see all of you that are here this afternoon and Pretty sure many probably still have a hangover from last week in Charlotte, North Carolina. 105 souls were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ last week. God has always stood behind his word. He testifies that not one word will fall to the ground. And it goes back to what I've been saying, that a holy message give you holy results. If it's not a holy message, there's no need to look for holy results. So this message of holiness is strong, it's divinely persuasive, and anybody that has an appetite for God we have plenty to serve you so you can eat. One thing about it, you won't starve here. The shelves stay stocked with truth. Plenty of truth. And uh, we just have no, there's no sweets involved. It's all salty good eating. Now, I want to remind everybody, God willing, uh, this weekend, I believe I'll be in Little Rock, Arkansas. And then after that, we will be in Phoenix, Arizona. And then after that, I'll be, I believe, back in Philadelphia. 
Then after that, I'll be in Lafayette, Louisiana. After that, I'll be in Charleston, South Carolina. After that, well, New Year's. We'll be here for New Year's. Now, our electrical engineers, they are running the new wiring and whatnot in the main auditorium. And we are really pushing, trying to have the main auditorium done for next year's dedication. We're really working on it. <laughs> you pray that, that it get done. Because between the lower auditorium and the gymnasium, we really still can't hold the people for our conventions. Well, this is not even a convention, just regular Sunday mornings. So, yeah. so I'm sincerely thinking that if our main auditorium is not done, I may rent a larger facility so everybody can be in one room for our convocation. Yeah. 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 I never, I didn't think I would have to do this again, but it is all right. Last week in Charlotte, the auditorium we got was uh, seating quite a few hundreds. And not even half of the people were there, and they was lined up sitting outside and lined up around the walls. <clears throat> and one brother came to me, he said, well, when we do finish upstairs, we outgrew it already. I say, well, I know, but I can imagine that we didn't. <laughs> But the tears and the balconies, as they get ready to start building that, the new lighting is about to be placed in our shipment. Of, uh, I changed the design of tile to kind of a Tusky Italian villa finish. Nice. And a uh, Tuscany style with beautiful stone because where the marble stop, you have travertine stone that's about eight feet high. And where the travertine stone stopped, I want to come with another stone on top of that and uh, make it look beautiful for God's people. Yes, right. So that's what we're working on now. So we done ordered our first shipment and the stone we already have, we're going to ship that to Lumberton, North Carolina, and use that in the Lumberton, North Carolina temple. Also, God had blessed us. We made settlement uh, Friday. We have now a new temple in Monroe, Louisiana. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> also, St. Louis, Missouri, we gave them an offer about two days ago, and I'm waiting to hear from them. We're waiting for the inspection to finally be completed. I thought it was completed, but it's not in Johannesburg, South Africa, and once that's done, we'll make settlement on that as well. Thank God. Next year, remember that uh, in January, Atlanta, Georgia will be the first dedication of one of our new temples of January 2022. So Atlanta, you be prepared now, and also we'll be in San Antonio, Texas, to meet our enemies who yeah. threatened the church about baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we're going to go to San Antonio. I had no plans to go nowhere in January but Atlanta. But because the cowardly heathens <laughs> dared us to come to their city, I must oblige them. We will come there and burn your city down with Bible. And, uh, and I do hope you show up now. You threw out all your talk. Please show up. Please just come out so we can beat you and put you down in water. In that wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Which is what everybody must do. We greet all of our brothers and sisters around the world. Now... Next year, we got an extremely brutal schedule because the foreign countries have opened back up and we have a lot of foreign travel to catch up on. Williams, how are you feeling today? You doing better? I feel better, better than what I was. Week of rest gave you, gave, done you good? Yes, sir. Done good, good, good. 
Amen. Did you eat? Yes, sir. All right. So no more of that. Unless you're fasting. And if you're fasting, then uh, may the peace of God be with you. Yes, sir. Now, uh, God willing, in the month of June, so far, I'll be gone the whole month. Amen. I've been about seven or eight different European countries. Preaching the word of God, stop after stop, stop after stop. It don't make no sense. Go to London and come back here and then go back. Ah, I'm not doing that. I do know what to do. <laughs> We've been doing it almost 38 years. Next year, it'll be 38 years. Amen. God willing, we'll be in London, England, Birmingham, England, uh, Dusseldorf, Germany, Frankfurt, Germany, Amsterdam. We'll be in Italy. We'll be in several, several European countries. So I'll be gone for an entire month. And when I come back, I try to rest for those few days before I hop the plane and go to the next country and work there. And then, God willing, <clears throat> in the month of August, God willing, if the countries are open up and those areas of Africa, I'll be gone almost again the whole month of August. I'll be in the country of Mozambique, Malawi, Burundi, and other countries. I'll be in Kenya, I'll be in Tanzania. God be our helper, and we'll be in Johannesburg, and we'll be in Cape Town. All these African countries that uh, we'll be going to. So there's a lot of new locations that God have added. We'll be in Alaska. We're looking to be in, I believe it's called, what is it, Jano? Juno. Juno will be in Juno. And then after I leave Juno, Alaska, I'll be going to Anchorage, Alaska. And then we'll be going to Canada. I'm looking to get in Quebec. We're looking to stop in Montreal and several other areas throughout the country of Canada. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to uh, Jamaica, please contact me, Brother Minister Gary. Let me know the status of gathering. And if the status is open, and uh, let me know whether we're on for 2022 for our Jamaican Holy Convocation there, as well as the Bahama Islands. You know, because there are many countries and islands that's open but still have a restraint on the amount of people that can come together. I don't want no restraint. No, way. no I want all the cattle to come in. <laughs> Amen. I believe one scripture talks about how the sheep and the lion shall lay together. Right. Amen. I want all the cattle, glory to God, to come in. So God willing, we're looking to be dedicating Middletown, New York, temple. Next year as well, we hope the Detroit Temple is done. We look to dedicate Detroit. So as we continue to uh, expand on the work of God, it's exhausting. Amen. If I, I, I look tired and I feel tired, it's exhausting. Bringing the word of God to the people is an exhausting job. Amen. We're looking to be in. I want to say to Las Vegas, Nevada, we heard you. We'll be there, God willing. Early part of next year, Las Vegas, we'll be there. And all of you that are going, stay away from the casinos. <laughs> Amen. That way you don't make a mistake and put chips in offering. <laughs> hey, bless God. But we're looking early part of next year. We'll be in Las Vegas, Nevada. February, I, I, I believe I'll be in Miami. And I also will be in Orlando. And then after that, I'd be in Las Vegas, and then I'd be in California, and then I'd be in Seattle, Washington. God willing, I'd be there also. Uh, let me jump ahead while it comes to mind. The combined anniversary of uh, Rocky Mount in Florence. Uh, many of you are writing me and asking me, will it be held in Florence or Rocky Mount? Neither. It won't be held in neither. We're going to take the meeting and uh, invade Greensboro, North Carolina. 
Amen. I'm going into Greensboro so we can disturb Greensboro as well. And after Greensboro, I'm looking to get into Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And then we're planning for Mexico as well. And we got several cities to stop in in Texas. And also we're we'll being Springfield, Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm looking to stop off in Connecticut and God willing, get into Rhode Island as well. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're busy. We're busy. God be our helper. <laughs> we're busy. <laughs> Laboring to do what? Save heathens. That's it. Heathens, I'm out to save you. That's right. You bunch of heathens. I don't want you to go to hell, heathens. I don't want you to go. But it's just a whole lot of you heathens. That's right. And how many here know what it's like to be a heathen? Raise your hand. That's everybody. I mean, everybody know. How many still know what it's like to be a heathen? Raise your hand. Well, that's practically everybody. You see how happy he is? Not many heathens are so happy to wave their hands like that. Glory to God. But, God willing, Texas, we're looking to get into your area. Amen. And bring you the word of God as well. We got quite a bit of mail that's pouring in out of Puerto Rico now. Wanting the gospel of God. You know, people want us to go everywhere. If I actually grant every request of coming to places, uh, my wife and children would not see me no time. That's right. Sometimes people write me and say, I remember one, I think it was a woman that wrote me and she said, why don't you drop what you're doing and just come where I'm at and preach the gospel. <laughs> and she wrote me from a foreign country. Amen. They're asking us to come to Greece. Also next year, uh, Bishop Sinbali, please reach me and let me know whether we're on for the Holy Convocation there on the African island of Mauritius so I can plan. Uh, after, if we go to Mauritius, after we leave Mauritius, we go to Dubai. And then from Dubai, I want to stop off in Malaysia. And then uh, we have to stop in Singapore, and visit the new first church of our Lord Jesus Christ in Singapore. And then from Singapore to Malaysia, then Philippines. Amen. Where the work of God is just gathering people. Then from there, we have to stop in Cambodia. Then we have a South Pacific tour coming up near Japan, Crook Islands, Samoan Islands, Solomon Islands, and several other islands, Fiji Islands, all out there near Japan. So I have to go from island to island to island. And uh, Sister Lorraine, I need you to start checking back with Australia now about my visa. Amen. They kept me out, but God came in. Amen. God came in. I don't want to wait till the, I don't want to wait till it's time for me to go. I need my visa verified now because I'll have a tour coming up through several areas of Australia. And then from the country of Australia, we will leave there and fly further under the earth to New Zealand. Where we have several preachers came in and brought their churches in. And I have to go there in person. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God and bring God's everlasting word. Amen. Amen. I do hope next year I'm able to stop in Israel. We have a new first church of the Lord Jesus Christ in Israel. Preacher came in and brought his congregation in. The walk of the truth of the gospel in Israel. Amen. What saith it? Bible say what saith it? Nigh thee. Amen. At thy mouth and at thine heart the words of faith that we preach. So this is the Lord's doing. It's the Lord's doing. Let me update you on baptisms. I have three in headquarters so far, four in Bronx, one in New Brunswick, 15 in Baltimore. As I mentioned, 105 in Charlotte, one in Franklinton, North Carolina, two in Atlanta, one in Tallahassee, Florida, one in North Chicago, two in Indianapolis, two in Memphis, two in Sacramento, nine in Corpus Crispi, Texas, three in Canada, two in the Netherlands, two in Sierra Leone, uh, South Africa, nine in Johannesburg, 164 so far. Thank God for that. 
Amen. So, and, I, and many of you that are making your requests on social media, it's not enough time in the year for me to make our rounds. We don't even have enough time in a year. There was a time that we can cover all the territories, but that time is long gone. God have broadened this work in such a manner until the enemies, they see it and they feel the effects of it. Amen. Someone showed me a video of a false prophet. I think the name of his church was the Church of God Apostolic Bible Way. Amen. Yelling about Pastor Gino Nicolius Jennings. He said, Pastor Jennings is a false apostle, a false prophet. Amen. That don't bother me none. No. I tell you what you do, Bible way. Why don't you come before the people or let me come there and prove to the public I'm not an apostle with the Bible. It's good for you to talk loud to your own little cheerleader squad. That don't mean nothing. Let me come in your arena. And I give you the opportunity. Somebody in the congregation must have these scriptures. And he was laying them out for having them. And he said, we don't need no lost books. Well, obviously they ain't lost because we have them. <laughs> you know, there's a international lie out and said, Geno Jennings wrote a new Bible. Now you know you're silly. I'm silly. I wouldn't write no Bible whether it was new or old. That's right. This book is too brutal. That's right. Too tight. It don't give you no wiggle room. Amen. This stuff was already written. That's right. And another man said, well, uh, proved by the Bible. I don't prove it. I don't know how many times that there are other books. All right, before I dive into my foundation and root up the devil, okay. yes. I want all of my viewers to follow me within your own 66 books. That's right. And I'm going to show you within your own 66 books that there are other books That's right. that the Bible calls out. That's right. Amen. Somebody say, well, the books you have, I don't read where none of the prophets mention them. Hmm. That's your only argument. I don't read where Isaiah said anything about the book of Philemon. Yes. But you have it in the New Testament. That's right. I don't read where Ezekiel mentioned Corinthians. That's right. But you have it. That's right. I don't read where Jeremiah mentioned a word. About First John, Amen. But you have it. But you have it. So the prophets don't have to mention a book. No. For it to be right. No. For it to be right, it is God that have to inspire the book. That's right. Glory to God. That's it. Yeah. That's right. Now I want you to follow me, viewers. Come on, get close now. Get close around your computer. Call your old raggly pastor. Call them. Call your pastor. Call your husband. Bible way. Bible way. Church of God. Bible way. If you want Pastor Jennings, I'm easy to be found. That's right. I mean, we're located at 5105. <laughs> North Fifth Street. I, I want to make sure they don't stutter over my grammar. 5105. <laughs> North Fifth Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here in America. You can come on. If, you, if, if the church can't pay your way. I will send brothers in my car, drive up to your steps of your house, and drive you all the way to First Church. Wonderful. Amen. We'll, we'll stop at restaurants and feed you. You don't have to pack no clothes. We'll stop at the store of your choice. Wonderful. Amen. Whether it's Nemus Marcus or, 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 or it's anywhere. Anywhere. Amen. Even if you want a few custom-made clothing, we'll take you to Suit Source. Let them custom make you something. Anything that I can beat you out your clothing. And I do it with the Bible. That's right. You that say there are no apostles now, 
Here's one telling you that all of you are liars. That's right. I don't care who you are. If you say that God took the apostles out the church and there are none no more. No more. All you got to do is come get Pastor Jennings. That's right. You don't need no moderator. Let the Bible meeting be your moderator. Just walk in on me with the scripture that says God took him out. That's right. That's all I want. And let's make it more interesting. If you prove it, you can have all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ. And all the church assets. And all the church bank accounts. And if I prove that they're in the church, you got to give me everything you have. And you got to step out the pulpit, never step in it again, come at the altar and tarry for the Holy Ghost and don't ever leave it until you receive it. I don't care if you, if you don't eat. You preachers do all this mouthing to your congregation. I'm not a closet champion. No. Not at all. I'm declaring to the world, first in the church, apostles, apostles, and God set them there. God had set some. God has set some. In the church. What was it? First apostles. Now, I dare you to show me a half a scripture that God took them out. That's right. That's all you got to do. That will settle the argument. That's right. You see, these fellows don't want no apostles because the apostles have God giving authority. Yeah. To rebuke and chastise and appoint. And God to. give the apostle a knowledge to take the Bible apart. That's right. Make it plain. Glory That's to right. God and break down the revelation of scripture. That's why these fellows want to ban the apostles out the Bible, but they want to keep bishops in. Yeah. No apostles, but bishops are in. That's right. No apostles, but pastors are in. Yeah. No apostles, but elders are in. The yeah. Bible told us what all of these offices are placed in the church for. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 11. Get me? And then after this, let's go back and read the scriptures that show the world that yes. there are other books. That's right. Other than what you have. That's right. Listen and get the old troublemaker now. Follow in, me. In Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 11. All right. And he gave some apostles. Huh. Not everybody. No, some. An apostle is God called, God sent, God anointed, God made, God appointed, God taught, God revealed himself to him. He's God taught. That's right. You may say to be an apostle, you have to witness Jesus' resurrection. Ain't no Bible said that. That's your lying mouth. Right. And if that's the truth, why wasn't Paul there? That's right. When Jesus rose. That's right. The Bible ain't never said to be an apostle, you have to be at the resurrection. No. Not at all. Not at all. Well, to be an apostle, you have to walk with Jesus in the flesh. That's another lie. That's another lie. Paul wasn't around when Jesus was here in the flesh. That's right. Someone say, well, in order to talk about the Son of God, you will have to be here. Paul wasn't around. That's right. But the way Paul talked about him, he said that how God revealed That's his right. son in me. But when it pleased God. Listen at this. Galatians chapter 1 will start at verse 15. When it pleased God to separate, separate me, me from my mother's womb. When it pleased God to sanctify me. That's right. Mm -hmm. And from, call, At birth. That's right. And then call me. By his grace. Hallelujah. By his mercy. To reveal his son in me. That's why he can preach Jesus. Amen. To reveal Jesus in me so what? That I might preach him among the heathen. That's what I'm doing now. That's right. Preaching him among heathens. Among the heathen. Among heathens. That's right. Amen. That's All right. right, let's get this now in figures 411 quickly. And he gave some apostles. Ron, turn me up real good now. Turn me up now. Amen. I want to, I want to like an earthquake out there. Yeah. Amen. Lord to God, I want to quake the auditorium with Bible. That's right. Listen at this. And he gave some apostles. Some apostles. And some prophets. Prophets. And some evangelists. Evangelists. And some pastors. Pastors. And teachers. Now hold it. What did he do? Start from the beginning. Back in Ephesians 4 and verse 11, and, and, he, and he gave some apostles. He gave some. Some. Apost and now, all of this fall under the sum. That's right. That's right. All of these titles fall under the sum. Sum. All right? And he gave some apostles. Not everybody. And some prophets. Not everybody. And some evangelists. Not everybody. And some pastors. Not everybody. And teachers. 
and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. Wait a minute. He gave some these offices for what reason? For the perfecting of the saints. For the completion of the development of the church. For the work of the ministry. For what reason? For the work of the ministry. For the work. Amen. Now, please tell me, when did one of these offices expire right. and that work no longer exists? That's right. That's all you got to do is tell me. That's right. And then give me a Bible for it. That's right. Listen. For the work of the ministry. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. That's why the truth of God is so edified. Amen. The offices are here. That's right. That's right. That's why, glory Hallelujah. to God, we can be so edified. Amen. You may not like it, but tell me, what church or organization, as you call it, doing the work where so many are hundreds mm -hmm. hearing a message and going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ like it was when the apostles was here. That's right. You're not doing it. <laughs> That's right. You don't hear this happening nowhere in the world. That's right. But out of the truth of God that God came for. Came for. Jesus came. That's right. For the truth of God. For the truth of God. You looking at Geno Jennings. It's not me. It's bigger than me. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. It's bigger than me. Amen. Jesus is responsible. Now I say that Jesus Christ. I say that Jesus Christ was a minister was of the a circumcision. Servant. For the circumcision. For the truth of God. That's why the truth of God got so much results. That's right. Amen. So I'm, I'm very loud about it. Very and there's loud. some saying, he always talk about how many got baptized. Why shouldn't I? That's right. Uh, the angels rejoice when one soul repented. That's right. Glory to God. As the truth of Christ is in me. Listen at this. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 10. As what? As the truth of Christ. As the truth. Hallelujah. Of Christ. Is in me. Is in me. No man shall stop me of this boasting. Nobody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall stop us from boasting That's about right. what God is doing. If right. angels get happy when one repent. Yeah. Oh, I would love to see them. When all these hunkers be going down in the water. Oh, yes. A tough message like this? Amen. So everywhere we go, viewers and haters and heathens and jealous folk, victory belongs That's right. to the church. That's right. Holy message. Bring holy results. For we can do nothing against the truth. You can't do nothing against the truth, but what? But for the truth. You talking against it, you helps it. For we are glad. What? We are glad. I'm happy to talk against it. I'm happy. Hallelujah. You make my belly feel good. That's right. Amen. Because what you're doing is what they did when the apostles was here. That's right. All right, now let's travel. And I want everybody to follow me and get me who Amen. got preachers saying that there are no more books than the 66 that you have. Amen. You're so blind and so deceived by your father, your relative, the devil. The devil. All right, while he's reading, I want you to do me a favor, uh, Brother uh, Rob. Go up in the administration building and the double door to everybody come in. Look near the fireplace. There's a box with about three big old black leather binding Bibles in it. Hmm. Bring me one. And they were written about, printed in about 1600 or 1700 and 1800. And, okay. Amen. And we, we got these Bibles when we got all the furniture from the Methodist church that we furnished the Mobile, Alabama temple with. And they had all these Bibles. And the man said, well, you want all them Bibles? I told him, yeah, you don't need them. I went up to the pulpit and took the Bible off that and took all the other Bibles in the other room. Yeah. Took all of them. Yeah. And every last one of them is about 150 to 200 and 300 years old right. and got all the books wow. that we have. I did not write nothing. That's right. That's right. It's foreign to you. But I tell you what you do. Go in the Jewish synagogue. The Jews have them. That's right. 
The Jews have them. It's not foreign to them. No. It's only foreign to you because your preacher is blind. That's right. Now let's go to work and I'm going to show you within your own, your own Bible. 66 books that mm -hmm. you have how the Bible make reference to other books. Now in the book of Numbers chapter 21, we're at verse 14. I'm on to hold my hand. You know how you like to do the preacher, the false prophet. That's right. Take the preacher's hand. You get my hand and follow me. That's right. Follow me. Chapter and verse. Wind. I want to make it rain Bible. Numbers chapter 21, we're at verse 14. Yes. Wherefore it is said in the book of the wars of the Lord, what he did in the Red Sea and in the books of Arnon. Now, Thank you, brother. You see this big old heavy Bible? Amen. That's a big one too, Pastor. It's a big one. Amen. Now this Bible, <laughs> from 1611, 1611, wow. And got all the books in here. Amen. From 1611. Amen. Got all of them in here. This big old Bible. <clears throat> Wonderful. <laughs> right here. Amen. Amen. Many of your pastors, many of your bishops have very old Bibles on the pulpit. You ever been in churches and they got old Bibles like these and some of them like they got two padlocks? Yeah. Practically all of them old Bibles have those books in them. Amen. So no, I didn't write nothing. No. Go get the one out of your grandma's cedar chest. That's right. Wrapped up in her shawl. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. Numbers chapter 21 and at verse 14. Follow me. Wherefore it is said in the book. It is said in the book. Of the wars of the Lord. The book of the wars of the Lord. What he did in the Red Sea and in the books of what Arnon. What God did in the Red Sea and the books of Arnon. Now in the book of 2 Samuel chapter what 1. What do you mean? The same thing that was written in one book, what God done for Israel when they opened up the Red Sea, that's right. was written in a book that's called the War of the Lord. Of the Lord. Amen. You never heard of that, did you viewers? Amen. But it's within your 66 books. Numbers, Get chapter and verse. Numbers chapter 21 it's in the and book verse of 14. Numbers. It's in the book of Numbers chapter 21 and 14 verse. Keep traveling. Wherefore also it is said in the book of the wars of the Lord. Yes. What he did in the Red Sea and in, in the brooks of Arnon. Yes. And at the stream of the brooks that goeth down to the dwelling of Ar. Yes. And lieth upon the border of Moab. All right. Now in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 1, we'll start at verse 17. 2 Samuel 1, 17 says. And David lamented with this lamentation over Saul and over Jonathan, his, his son. Yes. Also, he bade them teach the children of Judah the use of the bow. Teach the children of Judah how to use the bow. Behold, it is written Where? in the book of Jasher. Amen. The book of what? It is written in the book of Jasher. All right. Now, here you have the Bible make reference to Jasher. Well, we have Jasher. That's right. All right. Now, in the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 29. And verse 29. I'm within the 66 books. That's right. That make reference to books outside That's of right. what you have. Amen. Amen. That's right. I want to educate you now. That's right. That way you can stop lying on me, Bishop. <laughs> Listen. Now the book of First Chronicles, chapter 29 and verse 29. Yes. Now the acts of David, the king, first and last. What is it? Behold, they are written in the book of Samuel the seer. Wait a minute. They are written in the book of Samuel. Well, we know about the book of Samuel. That's right. We have that. That's right. All right. And in the book of Nathan the prophet. Oh. Amen. Well, most people know that Nathan was a prophet. That's right. But most people don't know that Nathan also wrote a book. And in the book of Nathan in the, the prophet. In the book of Nathan the prophet. And, and in the book of Gad the seer. In the book of Gad the seer. The seer. That's right. I know Gad. Jacob had a son named Gad. Yeah. But did you know Gad wrote a book? That's right. That's right. I want to take my time. I'm within your 66 books. Amen. As it make reference to events written in other books outside That's right. of the 66 you have. That's right. That's right. 
Listen at this now. Now in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 12. Follow me in your Bible. Second. Follow me in your Bible. Amen. Come on, William. 2 Chronicles chapter 12, read verse 15. What is it? Now the acts of Rehoboam the first acts, and last. The actions yes. of King Rehoboam first and last. Are they not written in the book of Shemaiah the prophet? Do you know, have you even heard of Shemaiah? That's right. I know that's a tongue that some folks still. How about how, Shemaiah? <laughs> Huh? That's oh, right. Shemaiah. Uh -huh. Yeah, all right. Amen. But here you had Shemaiah. Amen. Most folks don't even have even heard of the man. That's right. Do you hear this? Are they not written in the book of Shemaiah the prophet? Are they written in the book of Shemaiah the prophet? The prophet. Out of Ido the seer concerning genealogy. Wait a minute. It's also written in Ido? Out of Ido the seer. The seer? Concerning, concerning genealogy. Concerning genealogy. And there were wars between Rehoboam and Jeroboam continually. Look at here. Come on, William. Now in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Yeah, and, and we're just not going to stop at the Old Testament. That's right. We're going to travel all the way to the New. That's right. And I'm going to show you that not even the New Testament that you have possess that's right all the information about jesus that's right glory to god that's right so i'm saying what that's right which takes me back to what i've been saying you think the red letters is just all what jesus said how blind are you how blind how are you? deceived are you that's right we're going to take you to school now let's right. have it now in the book of second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 34 follow me that goes for all of you here many of you here that are unbelievers <laughs> that's right huh? that's right undercover unbelievers well pastor jennings I, I, I know you preach the truth but i don't know about these other books you're right you don't no you don't that's what I'm telling you. That's right. Lord God, that's why I'm here preaching it. That's right. What is it? Now in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 34. Follow me. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoshaphat first and last. Yes. Behold, they are written in the book of Jehu, the son of Hananiah. Now, I read about Jehu. Right. How God charged him to kill everything that was of Ahab's house. That's right. You'll read about it in 1 Kings, I believe. Second Kings. Or 2 Kings, 9th chapter. And 2 Kings, 10th chapter. That's right. But did you know Jehu also wrote book? Now the rest of the acts of Jehoshaphat first and last. What is it? Behold, they are written in the book of Jehu. They are written. Most folk ain't never heard of the book of Jehu. That's right. They are written in the book of Jehu. The that viewers, mm -hmm. I keep telling you, you will learn more from this program than all the years you waste. And got broke going to the false church. That's right. Learning nothing. That's right. Learning nothing. Nothing. Give this message to your false prophet that's lying and said, Pastor Jennings wrote another book and that Bible don't talk about other books. Give this message to your heathen bishop. That's right. Your heathen prophet. Amen. And your heathen deacon. <laughs> That's right. Give chapter and verse again. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 34. What is it? Now the rest of the acts of Jehoshaphat first and last. Yes. Behold, they are written in the book of Jehu. They are written in the book of Jehu. The son of Haniah. The son of Haniah. Who is mentioned in the book of the kings of Israel. Wait a minute. He's mentioned where? Who is mentioned in the book of the kings of Israel. And you can find that, Jehu, in 2 Kings, Second chapter King. 9, 2 Kings, chapter 10. That's right. The Spirit of the Lord came upon that man and made him a divine mercenary. Yeah. He just went killing everything that had to do with Ahab. And there was a common theme while the Spirit was on him. Is it peace? That's right. Huh? That's Is right. it peace? Is it peace? Who would take God? And if it wasn't peace, you had died by the hand of Jehu. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right, Williams, come on, son. Now we're also in the book of St. John, chapter 21 and verse 24. Look at here. St. John, chapter 21 and verse 24. All right, viewers, get this. This is the disciple which testifies of these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. We know that this follower of Jesus is true. And there are also many other things which Jesus did. Uh-oh. Amen. There's a whole lot more. Which Jesus did. That Jesus did. Which if they should be written, if everyone. If they should be written, everyone. everyone. I suppose that even the world itself. I suppose that the world itself. Could not contain the books that should not be written. contain the books the that books should be written. That should be written. Amen. Amen. That's it. 
That's right. All what Jesus done in the flesh yeah. is not in here. That's right. Many other things. The Holy Ghost has. And there were also many other things. Give chapter Jesus and verse did. again. St. John chapter 21 at verse 25. And there were also many other Glory things which Jesus did. You know did. I love this. Amen. There's a whole lot more. Which Jesus did. To what the Son of God did. Which if they should be written every one. I suppose that even the yeah, world. You, you got to remember. You lose about 18 years of information. That's right. Drop off at 12. Next time you pick them up. It was about the age of 30. That's right. You got about 18 years. That's right. You don't have no documentation, 18 years. That's right. Many other things. But obviously, this disciple, which was the Apostle John, knew. That's right. You know why? He was with them. That's right. That's right. And he was an eyewitness of his majesty. This is the disciple which testified yes. to these things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This, this is the disciple which testified to these things. Is the follower. Amen. Testify of these things. That testify of that, these that, things. That's a witness. That's right. Of these things. And, how, how strong is the witness of it? And wrote these things. And wrote them. And we know that his testimony is true. We know. We Hallelujah. know. Glory to God. We know that his testimony is true. Why? John can say, I walk with him. That's right. I talk I. with him. Amen. I ate with them. That's right. I handled them. That's right. So therefore, John was a witness of the things that Jesus did, and John knew. That's right. There was so much that was done. Amen. That let you know, even in the midst of absent documentation, the apostles was there. That's right. That's right. I would say, well, if they was there, why didn't they write all of it? The Bible gave the reason why. That's, the that's Bible right. gave the reason why. And there are also many other things which Jesus did. What is it? Which if they should be written every one. What? I suppose that even the world itself. The world itself. Could not contain the books that should be written. It was too much to write. It's too much to write. The world itself. The world itself, itself could not contain the books that should be just too much to write too about much. Jesus just too much <laughs> that's right many other things many other things hallelujah many other things which Jesus did many many that's too much that's it was, right it was just too much to write that's right amen if they should be written every one if they should be written every one I suppose that even the world itself no just the country of America I suppose that even the world no, itself no the, the land mass of the Sahara Desert I suppose that even the world no, itself no the whole Asia Minor continent I suppose that even the world itself you can that include all the land mass all the bodies of water and every mountain everything I suppose that even the world itself not even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. It Amen. could not contain. That's right. The books contain. that should be written. That should be written. Amen. That's it. That's it. And that's what the word of God said. That's what creation got to say. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. How and say what Pastor Jennings? Then how can we be saved? By what he got for us. Yes. What is written, that's enough for you. That's, that's enough. You, you having problems obeying that. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Whatsoever thing. We're written a four time. Let's read that. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Amen. Begin at verse 1. At I want to lay a good foundation here. Romans chapter 15, we're at verse 1. Follow me. We then that are strong. Are we the then, that let you know everybody's not strong. No. But there are some that are. That's right. We then that are strong ought, ought to, to bear the, infirmities, bear the, of the weak. infirmities of them that are weak. And not to please ourselves. Don't please ourselves. Don't be selfish. Let every but one of us. But be ye helpers of one another. That's right. When you bear the infirmities of the weak, you're strong enough that you can handle the weak infirmities of another. That's right. Uh -huh. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Yes. For even Christ pleased not himself. He sure didn't. That's why he died. That's right. 
how many would die and they're innocent. Yes. Be willingly. Willing. Die. Willingly. For the wicked. Amen. To rescue the wicked, know. knowing that many of them hate them. For when we were yet without strength. Listen at this. Romans chapter 5 and at verse 6. When we were yet without strength. In due time, in Christ due time, died. Christ died. For the ungodly. Christ died. For the ungodly. I wouldn't. Oh, no. I know I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't die for the ungodly. I have you thrown in jail. That's right. Wouldn't die for you. No way. Amen. No way. And then I got the question, the one that's godly. That's right. Make sure that if I'm going to die for the one that claimed to be godly, make sure they godly. Yeah. So my death don't be in vain. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. So I, I won't die for the ungodly. No. And I'm going to question that which claimed to be godly. That's right. Before I go all out, you know. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> for scarcely for a righteous man. Scarcely. Listen at this. Romans 5 and verse 7. Scarcely for a righteous man. Will one die. Will one die. Yet preadventure for a good man. <laughs> Yet preadventure perhaps for a good man. Some would even dare to die. They, they won't even think of dying. That's right. Yeah, and that's the truth. That's the truth. All right, let's go back now. Back, back in Romans 15, we're at verse 3. Let's itemize this. For even Christ pleased not himself. Yes. But as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell, fell on, on me. me. And For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Now, viewers, I want you to get this. Amen. Listen at this. For Romans 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Whatsoever things. Whatsoever. That were written. Aforetime. Before you got here. Were written for our learning. Someone said, well, that means is he wants you to investigate other books. No. No. He wants you to stay within scripture. That's what he's talking about. That's right. That what? Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That what? That, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture. Oh. That's it. Stay within the scriptures. And when you do that, what it give you? Might have hope. Amen. That's why we stay within the scriptures. In the scriptures. That's right. If we make reference to something else, we let you know. History said this. That's History right. said that. Or oh, that book said this. Or oh, that author said the other. Not yeah. the Bible. Right. That's right. That's that right. way you don't go looking for it. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 14. Says what? But continue thou in the things which continue thou hast learned. Continue in what you learned. And has been assured of. That what? Knowing of whom thou hast learned it. Yes. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. From a child you've known the Holy Scriptures. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Do you hear that? Amen. That's what we preach. That's right. And so when we teach the word of God and we make reference to something. Yeah. So people don't assume. It's scripture when I know it's not in there. That's right. We let them know the Bible didn't say this. Right. That's right. That's right. That's and right. if many of you preachers would do the same thing, you will find yourself saying that through your whole message. Hey, Amen. Because most of what these men say, God ain't never said. That's right. That's right. When I came out of the so-called apostolic church, so much trash was taught. That never been in the scriptures. Right. Paul died at Nero's chopping block. I don't know where he died or how. That's right. Peter was crucified, head down and feet up. I ain't never read that. It's not in there. Not in there. John died 96 AD in a pot of boiling oil. The year of his death and how he died. Not written. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Five minor prophets. Five major prophets. The Bible don't call none of them major or minor, but simply call them holy, holy prophets. Holy prophets. That's true. Do you That's see true. what I'm talking? That's right. Amen. Amen. Seminary school teach that Timothy was the first bishop in the church. The Bible don't say that. No. The Bible teach that Timothy was an evangelist. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4 you and see, 5. See, I love the word of God because it contradicts men. That's right. Listen. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Yes. And shall be turned un unto fable. Yes. But watch thou in all things. You watch in everything. Endure affliction. Endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of a bishop. Of an evangelist. 
do the work of so the So this is what I mean that nothing wrong with history as long as it don't contradict what the Lord says. That's right. That's right. Otherwise than that, I'm going to take what God said. Oh, yeah. And you got people upset with us because I take God's word over there. <laughs> That's right. And I had men dispute with me. Don't you believe me? No. Wonderful. <laughs> no, no. Wonderful. That's I believe right. God. That's right. Don't you want to hear me? No. No. Bible say he that hath the ear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the church. That's right. That's right. God people interest supposed to be what the Lord says. Search the scriptures. First. That's right. And foremost. That's right. What did Jesus advise us to do? In St. John 5 and verse 39. Search, search the scriptures. Glory to God. For in them. That's why I don't use the scripture and the history book. No. Mm -mm. no. And, and many of you got Bibles that have concordance. Yeah. Have commentaries on the side. That's right. You better be careful about that stuff on the side. That's right. That stuff on the side was written of men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's men trying to give you their interpretation of the contents of the scripture. That's right. You better be careful. That's right. Get me, get me, get me now. You better be careful. Search the scriptures. Hallelujah. It didn't say search concordance. <laughs> no. Huh? No, no. Not search concordance. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them. In them. You think you have eternal life. Well, you better be careful. You'll get up trying to preach concordance. Concordance. Yeah, yes, you will. All that stuff that's in the column that's of right. a page. That's right. That's man's doing. That's right. I get inspiration from heaven, That's not it. from concordance. <laughs> That's right. Not at all. That's right. I rely on heaven for my understanding because when Jesus died and come back, it is written, then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. The scripture. the scriptures. That's it. Get me now. Search the scriptures. Search it. For in them you think you have eternal life. Search it. Search the scriptures. So when we make reference to things that's not in scripture, we tell the people. That way you don't believe that there were seven deacons in the church. <laughs> that's right. The Bible ain't said that. No. I learned all that stuff from the apostolic church. Right. Seven deacons in the church and five minor prophets and five major and Peter was crucified head down and feet up. It was 400 years of darkness after the last prophet Malachi died. The Bible ain't never said how many years it no, was. No, no. I learned all that stuff in the apostolic church. Isaiah 9 and 6, the child, to us a child is born, son is son given. Is and the apostolic said Jesus came 712 years later. Ain't no Bible said that. No. Oh, no. Ain't no Bible said that. No, no. Beware of the usage of philosophy. That's right. Beware. Amen. I'm warning you now. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. This is why holiness makes you rethink past teaching. That's right. Huh? That's right. Holiness makes you rethink past teaching when you look back how you thought the preacher was so deep in the Bible and then you find out what he was deep in never was in the never Bible. Never was in there. Beware. He was deep in information outside of the Bible. That's right. Deep in philosophy. That's right. Deep in theology. That's right. And Bible warns us about such carrying on. In Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. All right. Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Look out. Look out. Look out. Watch out for him. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. How? Through philosophy. How? And vain deceit. What is it? After the tradition of men. And? After the rudiments of the world. Who did it not come from? And not after Christ. Not after Christ. Philosophy. Philosophy. And that's what you have in churches now. Philosophizing. <laughs> that's right. Bunch of philosophy. philosophy. Theology. Yeah. And people, because they are ignorant of the word of God, they jump around and shout, fall out on a philosophy. That's right. Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man spoil you. I remember philosophy. the false apostolic church I was in. I was witnessing one day a one of the brothers getting ordained. Mm -hmm. And the preacher put a white sheet on the floor and got four women. Yeah. 
to take their shoes off. I, I remember that. You remember that? Amen. Take their shoes off and then put their bare feet with the stocking on it on the tip of the sheet. Yep. And the preacher got the script in Revelation how God commanded the angels <laughs> not to hurt the earth. Lord. So the four winds don't blow. The Bible ain't never said he had four women not to hurt the earth. <laughs> no. Imagine that four women participating in the ordination. That's right. That's right. Beware. Beware! Beware! Lest any man spoil you. Glory to God, I'm that, I'm, that, I'm that dog in your backyard that you throw shoes at. <laughs> That's that right. bark all the hours of the night. That's right. And you want to sleep in your false church. Amen. And God's got me barking. That's right. Beware! Beware! Beware lest any man spoil you. You Be spoil. Man. That's right. That's why you fight this message. Because we demand Amen. that you come back to Scorch Earth Bible. That's right. Beware. I don't believe nothing. That's right. You can run around, walk on your hands, do the split, scream like James Brown, yell like Michael Jackson. <laughs> do what you want. <laughs> Go ahead and say, God. Beware. 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 Let's any man spoil you. I don't care who your bishop is. That's right. How many degrees behind his name. You going to come back to Bible? That's right. Otherwise than that, I'm not moving. No, no, you're not. You can refer me to Gabriel. That's right. I'm going to tell Gabriel. I'm going to listen to Gabriel. And if he stand here and bring something different from the Bible, I'm going to drive his wings to Galatia and say, hey, Gabe. But the wing. The wing. Or an angel from heaven. Or an angel from heaven. Preach any other gospel preach unto you. Preach any other gospel unto you. Unto you. In which we have preached unto you. And what we preach to you. Let him be a curse. I'm going to tell Gabriel, get out of, get out of my face. Get out, that's right. Huh? That's right. So I'm saying what? I slap Gabriel down with Bible. In Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8, but the we. Not even Gabriel's above the Bible. That's right. You let Gabriel come down here. I don't care if he's shining so bright, he dimmed my vision. Amen. I'm going to close my eyes and listen <laughs> at what he said. That's right. And when you deviate from the Bible, Amen. that light going out. Yes, it is. But the we. Let me get Bible. Give me that, believe the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. If any man don't bring it according to this word, it is because. There is no light, no light in, in him. him. That's right. Isaiah hey. chapter 8 Give and me at Isaiah. verse 20. Isaiah 8 20. To the law and to, to the law. And to the testimony. And to the testimony. If they speak not. If they speak not. According, to, according this word, to this word. It is because the reason? there is no light in them. There's what? There is no light in That's them. That's why I say I put the angels of heaven That's right. light out. That's right. If they contradict God's word. It is because there is no light in them. Amen. That's something to say. Are you man. getting what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. This word would unplug the light of an angel. That's right. If he don't bring it according to that word. That's right. If they speak not according I, to this I got, word. I got a whole lot of brothers um, in, in, in the truth of God that used to be elders and bishops and pastors and ministers from different churches with the seminary school. And, yeah. and that's why when I make reference to this stuff that people are preaching, a lot of them can laugh and say amen because some of them used to preach it or came out of churches that taught it. Right. So what happened? When you come to the truth of holiness... Yeah. Holiness is a divine detox center. That's right. Because you become polluted yeah. and diluted and contaminated. Right. I got to dilute that stuff. That's right. I got to weaken it. Weed it out. Beat that stuff out of you. That's right. Hmm? Beware. That way you don't refer to none of the prophets mm -hmm. as minor and major. Right. Because they say, well, the reason why we call them minor and major, because some wrote more than the others. That's your, that's your reason. That's your reason. Now, the Bible said bring forth your strong reason, right. and you better give Bible attached to your reason. That's right. That's right. Bible ain't never said they was minor or major. No. He said he just speak by the mouth of his, his holy, holy prophet, prophet since the world began. That's it. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Viewers, are you holding on to a teaching that you thought was Bible? Yeah. Are you? Oh, yes. Hey, you men that have been out ordained. Have you been ordained in a manner that was not in the Bible? Right. That's right. Have you brought 
being catechized out of a book. Mm -hmm. And then if you answer those questions, uh, you pass your tests. Mm -hmm. And then after you pass your test, then you get ordained. But before you get ordained, you have a trial sermon. Right. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Check now. Check. Say it's according to the word of God. Hey, Deke. Hey, Deke. <laughs> have you been ordained according to what's written? That's it. Are you an acting deacon first before you became the real thing? Amen. Have you read where any man in the history of the Bible pretend to be a deacon, then got ordained after he's done pretending? Right. You don't pretend to be a liar. You either a liar or you're not. That's right. There is no such thing as a pretense deacon. No. A acting deacon. No. Either you the real McCoy or you're not in it. Or you're not. Come on back to Bible. Amen. Come on back. Amen. Come on back. Come on. Be well, let's any man. Let's any man spoil you through you. philosophy. Through philosophy. And vain deceit. Vain. After the, after the tradition of men. Hold it. After what? After the tradition of men. This is what ruin judges. That's right. Men tradition. Men's tradition. Against Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. And Jesus spoke plain. Thus. Have ye made the commandment yeah, of listen God. Listen at this. In listen at this. Now I want to enlarge on this. In the book of St. Mark chapter 7 and we'll start at verse 6. Says what? He answered and said unto them, well hath Isaiah. Jesus answered and said to them, well. Hath Isaiah prophesied hath of you hypocrites. Isaiah prophesied about you what? Hypocrites. Yeah. That yeah. sounds so wonderful. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Jesus called them what they were. What they were. Hypocrites. Amen. As and it is written. As it is written. This people honoreth me with their lips. They got a lot of mouth service. But their heart is far from me. So what is it? How be it in vain do in they vain. worship me? Do they listen at this, viewers? How be it in vain you do know, they worship me? You know, your worship got to be scriptural. That's right. Yeah. And that's what got us sounding the alarm. Thank God. So loud. That's right. Because it must be scriptural not feeling right not based upon emotion that's right one false prophet someone showed me a clip of one of them prosperity heathens <laughs> said that god and money goes together what you know you false prophets oh yeah you off to go to hell quick amen that's right amen. and the people believe this trash and they don't check up behind these men with Bible. That's right. God and money don't go together. No. God is alone. That's right. By himself. By himself. Hey Amen. You don't need money to connect with God. No. You ain't got to have a dime and God can reach you and you can reach him. That's right. That's right. Being prosperous in materialism, the blessings of God is larger than that. Oh, yes. You can have all the materialism all you want and no God. That's right. That's and right. then you go to hell. That's right. The true prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. Amen. That's why you people love these prosperity preachers because they know you don't want God. You <laughs> want right. money. That's right. The devil knows you don't want to live right. You want money. You want money. Amen. Amen. Your money will perish with you unless you have God. How be it in vain do they worship me? What do they do? Teaching for doctrines. Wait a minute. Amen. What do they do? Teaching for doctrines. What do they make doctrine? The commandments of men. That's right. How, mu how much do they love men commandments, William? For laying aside. They lay aside. The commandment of God. God's order. Ye hold. Ye hold. The tradition of men. You know you're going to hell for that. That's right. We come along to break up men's tradition. Break, that's right. break it up. Break it up. Break up men's tradition. Any man's tradition Amen. that contradict the tradition of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. We break that thing up. That's right. If it's in keeping with the word of God, then we say amen to it. That's right. Huh? For laying aside the commandment of God. Now they have some that came to first church. <laughs> and tried to get me to lay aside That's right. God's tradition. God's tradition. God's tradition stayed and they got gone. Yes, they did. <laughs> That's right. Oh, no, you, you it ain't nobody. I, I don't care who you are, what position you have, how much money you have. I'm just not impressed with no human That's right. on the earth. And, and if anyone think I'm lying, stay around me. You'll find out. Stay, stay Them that have been around, around me a good long time know 
Pastor Jennings ain't impressed with nobody. No, you're not. Hey, Amen. I, I don't care what you have, whatever you have. Thank God for you, and I keep moving. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, Amen. If you got a mansion, I've seen mansions before. If you got a Rolls Royce, I've seen them before. If you got a Maybach, I've seen them before. Hey, Amen. Now, if you got a car, as the, and as I often say, if the front part is at the Canadian border, yeah. and your steering wheel is in Colorado, Amen. And your trunk is in Honduras. Amen. And your back tail light is coming around the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. Now you are a wonder. That's right. You are a wonder then. That's a wonder. Otherwise in that, you born of a woman like I am. That's right. You got to die like many will. That's right. You got to repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You must receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue like they did like they on did. the day of Pentecost That's right. at Jerusalem or reject it and die and go to hell. That's right. That's right. I ain't impressed with nobody. Nobody. No, you're and not. Someone said nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. I know millionaires mm -hmm. and they have said to me, Gino, you ain't impressed with nothing, are you? I said, with God. That's it. That's right. With God. That's right. Hey Amen. I have no millionaires that, hey amen, went to their house and uh, told me what they got. I got this. I got that. This came all the way from Europe and all that. I mean, one man, I forgot his name. He showed me one picture. He said, uh, Gino, I got this from Italy. It cost me $50,000. I oh. said, yeah, that looked like something I got from Home Goods. <laughs> Called me 1999. My Lord. Huh? Amen. He looked. He looked at me. I said, "Really? really? It's like something I got from Home Goods." Amen. Called me nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. My Lord. Oh, that God, and I want to see. Can I get a discount off that? <laughs> I don't care. That's right. Oh, That's that wonderful. God, I don't care what you have. That's right. When are you people going to realize you're nothing but a speck of dust? That's all. The only reason why you are alive today is by God's mercy. Amen. And when God snatched his breath from your nostrils, you're nothing. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. What did he say? For laying aside the commandment of God. That's what you folks have done. That's Amen. what you have done. I'm determined to hold in your face. That's right. In the face of creation. Amen. God commandment. That's it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Say, God, hold it right in your face. That's right. Turn to the left, turn to the right. You're going to bump up against God's tradition. That's right. God's tradition is Holy Ghost tradition. Holy Ghost tradition, Holy Ghost tradition is the orders and rules and regulations that God gave his apostles to lay discipline in his church. That's right. That's it. Huh? That's it. Not this religious farce. <laughs> All this antics. Take photo, take a selfie of each other and hold it up and say, Jesus, this. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Touch and claim and look at the neighbor next to you and say, neighbor, your hour is now. <laughs> One false prophet got before his whole congregation and just had the whole congregation of thousands yelling, money! Come here, my lord. The whole congregation, money. Come here, my lord. Ain't telling nobody to repent. No. Ain't telling nobody to be baptized. No. Ain't telling nobody the end of the world is at hand. That's right. Ain't telling nobody prepare to meet God. Yeah. Not telling nobody the day of the Lord will come. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Laying aside the command. Not preparing nobody. Nobody. Who will take God for the resurrection. That's right. Laying aside. Laying aside the commandment of God. Laying aside. Amen. Many of you folks watching me now around the world, that's what you have done. Yes. Your bishop, your fake apostle, your fraud elder, your low life deacon, your half pint pastor. That's right. Took the word of God and pushed it aside for prosperity. That's right. Pushed it aside for money. Yeah. Pushed it aside because someone offered him a few dollars. Yeah. Hey Amen. And he sold out on God like a cheap two cent hoe. That's right. That's right. Laying aside the commandment of God. Laying aside the commandment of God. 
Ye hold the tradition of men. I had a man write me and say, you brag about, yeah, you, you're not for sale. He said, everybody got a price. Mm. Not everybody, not me. No. I'm nobody's hoe. That's right. Eh? Nobody's. I mean right. nobody. Nobody. You can offer me the world. That's right. You haven't offered me nothing because the world ain't yours. That's right. Eh? If Balak would give me his house. Notice the book of Numbers. In Numbers chapter 22 and verse 18. If Balak would give me his house. Full of silver and gold. Get it up. I cannot. Oh, thank God with silver and gold, I cannot. Go beyond the word of the Lord my God. To do what? To do less. To do less. Or more. I'm going to stay within the word. That's it. Hallelujah. There's nothing, Hallelujah. nothing. Here, 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 here the old man now. That's right. And I don't care if you don't believe it, that doesn't faze me. But when I say nothing, nothing I say. That's right. That you can offer me at all that would make me second guess, bargain, or even give it a thought the size of a gnat's back tooth. Mm. Touching God everlasting That's right. word. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I've been offered millions of dollars. Oh, yeah. If I would just take the commandment of God yeah. and lay it aside. Lay it aside. That's what I said. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Logan yelled it for me. Amen. Oh, God, no. No. That's right. This would be a song which is saying, as a child, I've been serving Jesus a long time. <laughs> Ain't got tired yet. Yeah. Then they yell, no, ain't got tired yet. <laughs> That's right. And we have it. That's right. Wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Throw it, take off. Amen. Not at all. Amen. It's amazing how these preachers will sell out on the cheapest. Yes, they will. You offer them a, offer them a, a few thousand dollars, they'll turn on God quick. That's right. Reject God. Just turn a back on them. That's right. Amen. A woman can come into church and switch her hips and make a few owls move over. <laughs> He'll offer her his pulpit chair. Yes, he will. Give me what the woman did to the king. How the king offered half of the kingdom. That's right. Amen. I want to show you this now. In the book of St. Mark chapter 6. Many of you that are watching me now, this is your bishop. Yeah, that's Amen. Right. Sister Hips came in the church. Amen. Amen. Sister Hips came in the church and Mother Breast came in there. Woo. And Sister Thighs came in there. That's Amen. Right. And Missionary Calf came in there. That's right. Amen. And took the whole pulpit and rearranged, rearranged everything. It. Amen. Turned your bishop to a $2 hole. Turned your elder to a half pint hole. That's turned right. the pastor to a little mini, a mini me pimp. Amen. It's sad what they done. Oh, yeah. Do you hear it? In the book of St. Mark, chapter 6, and at verse 21. Now, what the preacher do? The preacher now, the, the, the woman got him so bad, certain subjects in the Bible, he won't even preach. That's right. Scared that she going to look at him and give him the look. That's right. That's right. Or scared she won't let him land back in the bird's nest again. Mm. You bunch of crooks and heathens. Bunch of crooks. That's why you don't like Pastor Jennings, but I'm going to preach it. God knows. That's right. God sent me to preach what you won't preach. Right. What did he say, son? In St. Mark chapter 6 and verse 21. I want to show you what hips can do to the pulpit if the pulpit is stupid enough to let them. Mark chapter 6 and verse 21. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 6, we're at verse 21. All right. And when a convenient day was come. Ah, uh, it's <laughs> always a convenient day. Convenient day. Yeah. And when a convenient day was coming. It's always a convenient day. That's right. Amen. And every day for the false prophet is a convenient day. That's right. Uh -huh. And when a convenient day was come. When a convenient day come. That Herod on his birthday Herod made a supper to his Lord. On his birthday. Amen. Did what? Made a supper to his made Lord. Made supper to his Lord. High captains and chief of states of Galilee. Yeah. And when the daughter of the said Herodias uh -oh. came in. When the daughter... Of the said Herodias came daughter in came in and danced. Amen. Amen. What did she do? And, and when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod. I don't know what kind of dance she done. That's right. To my knowledge, there was no lap dancing back then. I don't, I, I don't think so. I don't know, Pastor. <laughs> never know. Never, never know. Amen. That's right. 
I don't know whether there was any pole dancing back then. But one thing did I know. Amen. Brother, she did something. That's right. She did something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's the way it is in many of these churches. Certain sisters get out there dancing and junking and all that flesh start wiggling all over the place. Bishop getting anointing. <laughs> That's right. He don't know whether to clap or whether pat his feet. Amen. <laughs> you old sloppy mouth fool. That's right. You the sloppy mouth fool. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. That's right. That's right. Listen to the old troublemaker now. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. And she what? And danced. Danced. You know, some of the women do that kind of shout. They shuffle. <laughs> and Bishop be right there. Amen. Why, why they shuffling Bishop right there? That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Bishop say he stands there because he don't want her to hurt herself. You old back catching pimp. <laughs> That's right. All right, listen to the old man. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced, and please, Herod. Wait a minute. Amen. She danced and please Herod. And them that sat with him. Them that sat with him got yeah. happy too. The king said unto the damsel. What? Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt. <laughs> and I will give it thee. <laughs> Ask of me. Whatever. Whatsoever thou want. wilt. And I will give it thee. I give it to you. And he swear unto her. Oh. <laughs> swear. Uh -oh. And all she done was what? Danced. And, and when she danced, what did he say? And he asked of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. And all she done was what? Dance. And what did it make him say? Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. I wonder what kind of dance was that she done. What kind of dance was that? That's right. Please help. Hey, viewer. Is your pulpit vacant? Amen. Because the uh, 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 church harlot came in? Yeah. Oh, yes. False church I came up in. I saw that happen. Yeah. From a pastor that I had, woman got in this ear so bad, made him change doctrine. Amen. Then another woman came in. And they both teamed up together. My Lord. She made them change doctrine. Amen. Then the third woman came in. Amen. They all worked together like three little pigs. Amen. <laughs> and he ceased to be yeah. the big bad wolf. Yeah. Took all this huff. And puff That's right. out of them. That's right. That's right. He was known for his strictness. Yeah. Known for his no nonsense. Right. Known for it. Till the three little pigs came. Amen. That's exactly what they looked like, too. Three little pigs. <laughs> I would go in the office and talk to him. Why you don't teach this no more? You change this, you change that. His response was, it's unnecessary. Mm. For years, he taught the woman got to cover her head. Yeah. I preached that one night and one of the sisters was complaining. Yeah. And then he took up the sister. Went to bat for her. Yeah. He said, why are you preaching head covering? I said, you preached it. That's right. Yeah. Because the sister didn't want to cover her head. He said, well, if she don't want to cover her head, she don't have to cover it. I said, but that's what you preach. Yeah. I don't care if your hips so wide, you got a basket on each of them. <laughs> Amen. There ain't a set of hips that ever come in the truth of God and change this doctrine. That's right. We'll beat your hips down to your knees. That's right. 
next round. Dance all you want. Dance all you want. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. What, what did she do? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. What did it make him say? And please, Herod, ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. She wasn't dancing in the spirit. No. She wasn't dancing to please God either. Oh, no. Please, Herod. Hey, viewer. Hey, viewer. Have your preaching changed? Have your pastor changed now? Hmm. Because of Sister Ruth. That's right. Sister Naomi. Yeah. Sister Mary went Magdalene on them. <laughs> That's right. What happened to Bishop? That's right. You can't find him now? He's supposed to be in the pulpit. Where is it? Where, where is he? At Mother Grethel's house? Mm. Have your bishop changed doctrine now? Amen. Because Sister Susan didn't want to obey something? Right. And to please Sue, he changed doctrine? <laughs> That's right. Did a woman come in and rearrange the entire organization? Yeah. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. It's a breast that strong, her hips that good, her womb that tight. Mm. He changed the doctrine. Preach it, brother. Talk back to me. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Her womb is more important, more important. than the souls of the church. Go ahead. That you will lay aside God. That's right. Turn your back on God. Amen. That's what they do. What hey, they do. viewers. Your church is not the same no more, is it? Mm. Amen. 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 Do you hear what the word said? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. That's why I, I could never see how can a man go to a club yeah. and come home broke. That's right. I could never see it. And all she did was come down a pole and shook her hips. That's right. Chest twirling all kind of directions. And you ain't got no money? No money left. That's all? That's all she did? That's right. Straddle across the you and grind on your pants and made you pee on yourself? Make it plain, brother. Make it plain. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you come back broke? That's right. Can't take care of your wife. Can't take care of your son. Can't take care of your daughter. Go ahead. Because she worked on you to piss on yourself. Go ahead. You don't work all week. Go ahead, man. Mm. You will never make me see the sense of it. Preach it, brother. Preach it. I love my wife. Put together like a thick piece of leather. <laughs> but that girl could never shake her goods. Right. And make me go broke. That's right. If she shake her girls, it's gonna make me work more. <laughs> Hallelujah. It may sound funny, but do you know how many churches? Churches. Don't went bankrupt. Preachers don't drain the whole That's church true. account That's right. of people hard earned money That's to right. pay off their girlfriends. That's right. Churches had to shut down. Yeah. Preachers that took the whole church account, left town. That's it right. have happened in apostolics. It have happened in Baptists. It have happened in Pentecostal and still happening. Still happening. That is something. He's about 70 and she's 21. Lord have mercy. He never needed extra oxygen until he met her. That's right. That's right. And this old fool talking about, oh, she fool. make me feel 
young again. That's right. Ain't nobody thighs worth going to hell for. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you, woman, you got to be lower than a stray dog. Yes. To even try to encourage preacher, a preacher to take church money? That's to right. To satisfy your want? Satisfy you. Amen. This happens every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. The trash I came out of, besides when the preacher got older, didn't want to drive, besides having one of the brothers driving, he had the women chauffeur him around. And when those three blind mice <laughs> will complain to him about anything we preach, he'll come out, come out of that office and lay, it, and lay us out. Yeah. Even though he's been preaching it for years himself. Yeah. These three blind mice turned my former bishop against Everything he stood for. Amen. And he started building up everything he destroyed, yeah. which made himself a transgressor. That's Is right. that in your church, Phil? Mm. Is that in your church? That's in your church. Where the preacher died and willed the church to once to some woman? Yeah. Many of you watching me now, your bishop died. And then when y'all sought through the paperwork, the paperwork was left to one of the women in the church. Mm. And y'all had to take the women to the court to fight her to get it back. Right. I know of such cases. Because there was cases where people asked my help to help get their church back. Mm. Yeah, that's something. If I die, my wife's name ain't on the deeds of the church. That's right. That's right. This is God's church. God's church. This is not the Jennings family church. That's this right. is God's church. That's right. That's right. What I look like, all this hard sacrifice and work that the people are doing, sacrificing, tithing and offering and help build the work of God. And then when I die, just to find out the entire organization is left to my wife. Mm. You ought to dig me up and burn me. <laughs> and whatever's not ashes, pull. Take what's left, grind it in Not a that. coffee grinder <laughs> or a tree stump grinder Lord. and then step on that. Come on. Many of you people have lost your bishop, yeah. have lost your elder, have lost your pastor yeah. over some hot pants. That's right. That's right. Over a thong. Yeah. A shoestring. A shoestring. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around with a shoelace in your tail. Shoelace. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead. Shoelace. Do you hear what the word of God says? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. She danced. And please Herod. Please Herod. And them that sat with him. And what? The king said unto the damsel, so ask of me whatsoever ask thou wilt. me what you want. And I will give it thee. I give you anything. And he swear unto her. Wait a minute. Mm. He promised. Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me. Whatever you ask of I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. Wait a minute. That's exactly where the bishops are today. Yeah. All she did was dance. Danced. She do a lap dance for bishop. That's right. Next thing bishop said, oh, I'll give you half of the entire movement. Half. I give you half of the whole movement. I give you half of the whole church. That's right. That's right. They don't preach this over there. No. Nah. Oh, no. Give you half of the whole movement. Give you half of the whole church. Half of it. Amen. Can you imagine that? Amen. How the church now became so insignificant, so worthless. Yeah. That you would put up breasts over the work of God. Over the that you would leave God's work for breasts. Yeah. Are you that dumb? <laughs> That's right. Amen. You're so hell deserving. Yeah. And he swear unto her. He swear. Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me. 
I will give it thee unto ah. the half of my kingdom. I will give you half of the kingdom. Come on, son. And she went forth and said unto her mother. Wait a minute. She had a wicked mama. That's right. And many cases, a lot of these young women is put up to do something by their mama. That's right. true. That's true. You know, anytime your mama puts you up to approach any man, I mean, put you up to do it, your mama is no good. Oh, yeah. Even if the man is not a preacher. That's right. If your mama puts you up to approach any man, sister, your mama is no good. Amen. Your mama is rotten and you're rotten. Yeah. Both of you are rotten. Both of you. Get me. And she went forth and said unto her mother, what shall I ask? And she said the head of John the Baptist. If the king offer you to give you half of his kingdom, of the kingdom. you don't know what to ask. Mm. She asked her, her mama. That's right. What should I ask this man? And she said the head of John the Baptist. Kill, kill, kill God's man. Kill, kill him. Kill him. Ain't that something to say? Amen. Young sister gonna talk to you. You ask her, well, why are you talk to me? Well, my mama told me I should talk to you. Get away from her. Get away from her. Run. Yeah. Her mama, because the question is this, how many other boys did her mama send her to talk to before she saw your dumb self? That's right. Then you think you got something good. You ain't got nothing. Nothing. I don't care if she's speaking in tongue more than all of Thessalonica. You ain't got nothing. That's right. That's right. Because once you back out of it, her mama gonna send her to somebody else. Oh yeah. And then when they back out of, in other words, her mama trying to get rid of her. Yeah. Amen. You call it love. You're just a dump site for a fool. That's all. A mother just wanna drop you off. That's right. Drop her off. Wrap her up. Drop her off at the step. At the steps. And you call it love, and it ain't love. It's a setup. Yeah. Oh yeah. Amen. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? What? And she said, Shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the I Baptist. I want you to cut John's head off. And Why? Because mm -hmm. that man gave me too much trouble. He's yeah. too, strict. too strict. He preached too hard. He always condemned things. That's right. He always hold God's word in his face. Talking about repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. I'm sick of hearing it. That's right. Kill John. Yeah. Shut him up. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what the devil do. The devil, everybody that comes to the church, God don't send. No. The devil sends some folks to church to destroy what's in there. That's right. Because even the devil know God said the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Yeah. But that don't stop him from trying. Right. Listen. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king. Wait a minute. Amen. She got in the area. I think she got that wicked advice from her mama. That's right. What did she do? And asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and hey, by. Hey, king. Amen. I will. That thou give me by and by. That you give me by and by. In a charge. In a charge. The head of John the Baptist. I want you to cut John the Baptist's head off. Head off. That's right. Hey, viewer, have your bishop lost his head mm. over some stockings? Has his whole preaching changed? Yeah. Has divorce now ceased to be preached against in the church? That's right. Because a voice spoke to him and said, that's his new wife? Yeah. I think of an old bishop that I knew as a child. I preached in Cambridge, Maryland. And then this old bishop came there who knew me before I was Pastor Jennings. He knew me when I was in the false church days. And after service was over, he said he wanted to talk to him. And we sat at the table in the lobby. And he said, I know you'll stand. I'm proud of you, how <laughs> the work of the Lord. He wanted to butter me up first. That's right. But this the... was one piece of bread that don't soak in butter. <laughs> That's right. Got Flattery the... don't mean nothing to me. Amen. Nothing. You got the butter right on your pastor. Huh? <laughs> That's right. He got the butter out of the knife. He got the butter out. <laughs> I mean, he would start wiping it, too. That's right. That's right. I didn't pay that stuff no mind, all That's that right. flattery. And he said, uh, I got four or five churches. I would like to give them to you. Mm -hmm. I said, you ain't got to give me nothing. God made me a builder. Mm -hmm. He said, I know you build churches, but I'm getting old. I want to turn my organization over to you. I said, what's the catch? That's right. What's the catch? That's right. Because he know most young men, you offer them churches. Oh, Lord, they'll jump at it, at, and they will sell out quicker than a dog can spit. <laughs> Amen. I asked him, what's the catch? Mm -hmm. 
He said, uh, I know you preach against divorce. I say to myself, here we go. <laughs> but I knew him and his wife. And he said, uh, the Lord spoke to me and showed me that my secretary is my new wife. I knew his secretary. All of us used to fellowship together. And I asked him one question. Is your wife still living? He said, yeah, but she's sick and she can't aid me. I said, what about for better or worse? You mean to tell me you only love her when she can move around? Yeah. He said, well, he said, I know what you're saying, but the Lord spoke. I said, the Lord ain't said nothing. That's right. Your wife is still living. The That's Bible right. said your wife got to die. He said, I got a revelation. I said, they show me in the Bible where your wife ain't got to die in the New Testament. Right. That's right. He said, well, think about it. I said, I won't. That's right. He said, you're missing out on four churches. I said, God have blessed me to build 400 if need be. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care nothing about that mess. Nothing. Oh, no. I haven't heard from that false prophet since. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. You're right. Got that new meat. He's preoccupied. That's right. He's either preoccupied or dead. Or dead. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? His soul. If your error or sin with the man, with the woman, repent. But that man and woman is not worth turning your back on God for. No way. You're going to turn your back on God for him? For him. Or for her? Really? That's right. Hey, preacher, what did that woman offer you mm. that made you leave out the entire church? Well, I mean, what did that preacher offer you? Because he put you in a new car, gave you a new house, yeah. and made you turn your back on God? Yeah. Do you mean to tell me if a man buy you a house, that makes you leave God? Are you God. really that weak? That's right. That's right. Because a woman massaged your temples? That make you want to leave your wife and children in the book of and take care of somebody else's wife and children? Amen. How hell bound. Yeah. Here you got men making babies everywhere, won't take care of their babies, but then they'll marry somebody else. And they, here, let, let me say this. Let me say this right now. Glory to the Heavenly Father. Amen. Anytime a man got several children, from several different women and won't take care of those children. Yeah. And you marry that man marry and think he's going to take care of yours, you about as dumb as a brick. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. That's right. A man who will not take care of his children and you marry him, and you marry him. he ain't taking care of what comes from your womb because it is not in him to take care of children. That's right. It is in him to have sex and that's it. That's it. That's right. That's true. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. What kind of man are you if you have children and you marry another woman? Mm -hmm. You choose that woman over your kids? Oh, yeah. You won't even look at your kids, take care of your kids? That's right. The woman don't want you to have no communication with your kids? <laughs> then the woman tell you, you can't bring the kids. I don't want your kids in my house. And then you give in to it and say, all right. Yeah. You ought to go to hell every Wednesday. <laughs> Amen. What did Wimpy used to say to Pot Pie every Tuesday? <laughs> it's a disgrace. Yes. This type of preaching is not preached today. No. Everything is just blowing. <laughs> you fall out. That's right. Slap on you. God got a miracle with your name on it. Viewers, I'm here to tell you, God ain't got nothing with your name on it. No. Nothing I said. That's right. That's right. What did he say? Now in the book of 1 Esther chapter 4 and at verse 25. What is it? Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yes. Yea, many there be. Many there be. That have, got, that have run out of their wits for women. That have lost their mind for women. And become servants for their sakes. Amen. 
trying she to make you leave God, make you leave church. That's right. Make you leave God and make you leave church. Yeah. He make you leave God. He make you leave church. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Throw your children to the dogs because of her. Throw your children to the dogs because of him. It isn't too many men coming off the assembly line today. No. Too many missing parts. <laughs> That's right. Got to, got to make a recall to get the bugs out. Amen. Amen. Viewers, what happened to your church? What happened? Since Sister Hips came in. That's right. What happened to the apostles' doctrine that used to be preached there? Yeah. Look at your church now. Look at the change, you apostolics. Yeah. Look at the ministers that y'all have now. Yeah. Got all your mini skirts and fake eyelashes about five inches long like a choir full of singing paintbrushes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Bishop loved to see that half love nakedness. It. Love it. Breasts all out, paintbrush and amen, lipstick everywhere, earrings, got a bunch of raccoon hair on. <laughs> That's right. Looked like a choir full of prostitutes. Yeah. Churches now with psychedelic lights. That's true. Amen. Like it's a disco junk house. Go ahead. It's something. God said, put a difference. Put a difference. Between holy and unholy. Clean and unclean. Clean and unclean. What I look like having a pulpit with psychedelic lights. Look like a disco jam. Disco. That's right. Bunch of psychedelic lights on the choir. That's right. And folks don't see nothing wrong with that trash. This is church. Amen. You should not be able to associate a church with club. Yeah. There got to be a difference. Got to be a difference. Ain't nobody gonna make me believe otherwise. There got to be a difference. That's right. A bunch of half naked men, a half naked women up singing church disco lights and talk about we saved. Saved from what? That's right. Yes. Churches today are worse than a whorehouse. Yeah. It's a club. Oh yes. Half naked women, bareheaded, back all out, mini skirts. Yeah. And this is church. Church. But you apostolic. You're right, but you ain't holy. Amen. Laying aside. Laying aside the commandment of God. What do they do? Ye hold the tradition of men. I had an old bishop told me when I was in my 20s. Young man, there's no one preaching that stuff that you're preaching no more. He said, when I was a young man, I was just like you, very salty, and was, really, and was preaching the word of God very hard and letting the people know they're going to hell. He said, after that, I went to seminary school and took a few courses, I realized that all of none of that was necessary. Mm -hmm. He said, I advise you to do the same thing. Take a few courses of theology. Yeah. Study, theology. Study theology. He said, that your approach uh, towards the people will be a different thing. This is an educated society. <laughs> That's right. He's dead now in the crashless grave. Oh, yeah. Educate that. <laughs> Amen. Come on, Dave. Yeah, it's something. Come on. You won't get me to sell out on God for nobody. Oh, no. Oh, no. That works. Oh, no. Amen. 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 I haven't met nothing or seen nothing. Yeah. That's so pleasing. I'm going to swap my soul for it. That's right. That's right. What if God said, what would a man give? That's right. In exchange for his soul. For his soul. What have you changed your soul for? Yeah. And for whom have you changed your soul for? That's right. I came from a false church where three little pigs came in. <laughs> I speak the truth and lie and not. They took the false prophet's took soul over, took over. and they died in a Christless grave ready to wake up in hell. My Lord, my Lord. Three little pigs. That's right. He could no longer huff. He That's could right. no longer puff. They took his wind. They took his wind. Choked the gospel right out of him. Yeah. And then when we would preach what's in the Bible, we would get rebuked. When, the, when one of the three little pigs complained. <laughs> and when he was on his deathbed, he was calling for one of them. Kept yelling, Susie, Susie, Susie. My Lord, my Lord. 
I, I, he's on his deathbed. Yeah. Wow. My former bishop calling out for one of the women. And wow. she's running, I'm here, dear holy apostle. He was my great uncle Lord, and my was Lord. my mother's uncle. We was in the hospital room. My Lord, my he Lord. was just, he wasn't calling on Jesus at all. Susie, Susie. <laughs> my mother got so angry with her uncle, she said, why don't you stop calling Susie and call Jesus? <laughs> he got angry with him. Stop calling Susie, call Jesus. Amen. The other two little pigs wasn't there. <laughs> Christless grave ready to have. And you know what he did? Left everything to Susie. <laughs> left all the church money. He left the church money and left the churches and his own personal money. Wouldn't give his children, which is my niece, which is my cousins, a dime. My Lord, my Lord. That's something. That's something. The woman in the scriptures came in the kingdom. That's right. And she danced. And when the daughter of the son of Rodius came in. Here chapter and verse in the book of Mark again. Back in St. Mark chapter 6 and verse 22. The daughter of said Herodias. Came in and danced. Came in and danced. And please Herod. Please Herod. And them that sat with him. Said what? The king said unto the damsel, ask of me whatsoever thou ask wilt. Ask of me whatever you want. And I will and give it to you. And I will give it to you. And he swear unto her. He, he swear. Whatsoever thou shalt Whatever ask of me, you ask, I will give it thee unto I the give half it to of you. my kingdom. I give you how much? Half of my kingdom. All the girl did was dance. Dance. That's right. When my former bishop died. Nothing was left to the church. Nothing. That's something. He gave every dime to one of his three little pigs. Wouldn't give his children a dime. My Lord, my Lord. Gave her all the church money that we, when we was coming up, contribute to build that little false church. All them years, my mother and father mortgaged their house twice to wow. keep the church from falling up. All the sacrificing over the years gave her every dime, every dime gave her the churches that he wouldn't give his own kids a three dollar bill. <laughs> Lord. something. What did the woman do? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced Dance! And please Herod. And what did Herod offer her? Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt and I will give it thee. And he swore unto her, whatsoever thou shalt ask of me I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. Hey preacher hey preacher wow. the woman coming in congregation built just so well yeah. and then you were so crazy about her built she asked you Leave your wife and kids. Mm. Amen. Hey, viewers, are you in the church? Where the woman came in mm -hmm. and took your pastor out. Took your pastor. That's right. Out the pulpit. He left his wife and left his kids and left his wife pregnant. Mm. Now, woman will say, well, he shouldn't have let her. I agree. And you also shouldn't have came to him. That's right. That's right. Man can't ride your back unless it's bent. Yeah. Somebody said, Pastor Jenner, how do a woman got so much power? A woman got as much power if a man let him. Let him. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. I don't look at the three little pigs beat the false prophet I was under and took his soul to hell. That's something. Took his soul to hell. That's something. All that little bit work and gave it all to a woman gave it all. who wasn't even saved. Wow. Before he died, he told me I want to leave the, the two churches to you. 
I said, uh, you got to put that in writing. He said, don't worry, it'll be in writing. I said, I ain't going to fight with nothing. I said, ain't nothing but property to me. Right, right. I didn't care he was my former bitch. He was dying. You know, people get emotional when they die. <laughs> That's right. They're liable to say anything. Yeah. He said, I want to leave you my two churches. I said, you ain't got to leave me nothing. He said, but I want you to have it. Mm -hmm. I said, put it in writing. He said, it'll be in writing. I said, if it ain't in writing, I ain't worrying about nothing. And it wasn't in writing, and Susie got him. Wow. It wasn't in writing, and I didn't need him and didn't miss him. Amen. Amen. Viewers, who's dancing for your bishop? Oh, yeah. That's right. Church can't pay bills now. Who got the money? Mm. Do Sister Hips got the money? Amen. What women is calling the shots in your church? Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Oh, yeah. Are you listening? Amen. See how quiet it is? Yeah. Very quiet. Very quiet. I don't care what woman come in here. You are never called the shots in this pulpit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You was Gabriel's sister and came from heaven. You come down here. We ain't calling the shots here. Oh, no. If my own wife ain't trying to do it, what makes you think you're doing it? Right. I got hundreds of secretaries, but I ain't that close to nobody. That's you gonna right. call the shots here? If you think I'm that close, be a fool. I'll show you how close you are to that door. <laughs> Amen. 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 A lot of folk go down, you know, Pastor Dennis, I'm close to him. Don't believe nothing if you don't hear from me. Don't hear from you. Don't do nothing till you hear from me. <laughs> That's right. A lot of folk always trying to paint a picture like I'm so close to them. Yeah. I don't quit to get close to nobody. That's right. Am I right, William? That's right. Why? I don't trust a lot of people. Trust, yeah. Amen. Don't let the one running around, oh, they're close to Pastor Jennings. They told me. If you ain't hear Pastor Jennings said it, don't believe it. <laughs> don't believe it. Because people don't make up any it. story. Brothers do it and sisters do it. Yeah. yeah. Wait till you hear from the horse's mouth. That's right. And in this right. case, I'm Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. <laughs> All right. All right. That's right, Wilbur. Oh, yes. I'm Mr. Ed in this case. That's right. I done been through that garbage so many times. Folks putting that lie out, oh, I'm close to Pastor Jenny. No, 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 no. If you don't hear from me, don't believe a word of it. Don't believe it. That's right. Yeah. Am I right, Frank? Hey. Folks then put that lie out on me for years. Yeah. He close to me. Did I tell you that? Well, I feel it. Take some Philip Milk of Magnesia. <laughs> that closeness will run right out. It'll run out of me. That's right. But folks don't know me. No. No, they, they don't. They think they do. You can work around someone for years and still don't know them. That's true. What did the woman do? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. What? And danced. Are they and dancing in your church, Harry. viewer? Mm -hmm. Are they dancing for the bishop? Dancing for the preacher. Are the, are, are the women coming up in the pulpit and dance for the preacher like a bunch of go-go girls? That's right. Psychedelic lights and lips all red like a bunch of Jezebel entertainers. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. This is what church has become, become. A, a pulpit of heathens. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Playground. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you hear it? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced, and please Herod. Please, please Herod. And them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. And he swear unto her. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this have trickled in churches oh, yeah. all around the world. That's right. Some men God was using. Yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden, a woman come and just take the entire church from the man. Yeah. Make him change his stand, change That's his something. teaching. Now he tell the folk, oh, well, this ain't necessary no more. That ain't necessary no more. He's like a puppet. And she's in the congregation just pulling the strings. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Just pulling the strings. 
No more baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. He fight the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue now. Yeah. Now the women that can't preach, now they are preaching. Right. That's right. Put her in head of very auxiliary. Amen. What? Amen. All she did was dance. Dance. He just couldn't take it seeing her getting that fake Holy Ghost. <laughs> couldn't take it. That's why when sisters get in the spirit, you know, in false churches, they women go around them, you know, and all that stuff like ushers. <laughs> Although brothers trying to hold them. I tell brothers, sister, get in the spirit, don't touch them. That's right. Brothers get in the spirit. Don't you go touch no brothers. Yeah. Get away from them. Amen. If you brother standing next to a sister and a sister get happy jumping, you move. That's right. You see she jumping and you standing here. Don't let her be hitting up on you just sitting there. <laughs> get away from her. Get away from her. You're smiling hypocrite. <laughs> get out the way. Get out the way. Amen. A lot of you folk ain't used to church. You're used to going to these churches that do nothing but entertain you. It's no different than the church and the Apollo. That's right. It's the same thing. That's right. You've been going to that religious trash, and then when they come to something like this, you know what they say? That man is mean. Yeah. I'm not mean. I just believe in what God said. That's it. I don't believe that God church should be a club. Right. Just that simple. That's right. But the choir sang, sang and glorified God. Yeah. Well, like the choir singing, and then the brothers start playing the intro before they start singing, and then all of a sudden the choir starts. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> so we Gladys Night now? <laughs> Earth, wind, and fire? <laughs> That's right. And when you're not scripturally educated, you know what you say? But what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's not wrong with boogieing for Jesus. Jesus and boogies don't work together. No. There's a separation yeah. between God and the world. Separation. Yeah. Leviticus 10 and 10. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Says what? And that she may put difference. Between holy and unholy. What else? And between and between unclean and clean. If you just going, if your church gonna be a club, how you born again? What That's are right. you a new creature about? <laughs> That's right. You go to club with your hot pants and thong on, a half naked, and you come to church the same way. Like that. You go to club with a skirt this big and a blouse that big, and all your meat is hanging out of it. And you come to church the same way, you in the club, everything falling out, and you come to church jumping and everything falling out. That's right. That's true. And you don't see nothing wrong with it? Nothing wrong. You mean to tell me you're, the, you're not that morally intelligent? Hmm. You don't see nothing wrong with your body parts being advertised in public? Go ahead. And you look at me like I'm saying something criminal? Right. Because I'm telling you, cover your goods up. Right. Well, my husband want to see it. Then let's show him to him at home. That's right. Let him see your stuff at home. Yeah. You can show him all day, show him all night, and show him while you sleep. That's right. But when you come to church or in public or go to work, cover that stuff up. Yeah. You ain't a whore, don't look like none. You ain't a pimp, don't look like one. That's right. And that she may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and This is and old clean. school church. This is the type of preaching that offends people who don't want to make change. Right. Brother, you can't get mad at someone, your wife out there half naked, and all the men look, ooh, 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 look at you, look at you. Look at you! <laughs> and here you getting upset. Hey man, that's, 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 this is my girl. Let me tell you, what, what you getting upset for? That's right. That's right. You that's getting right. upset. And you don't want to let her out like this? Yeah. Thanksgiving is coming, so dress your turkey. 
<laughs> Put some dressing on your turkey. Put some dressing on there. Amen. Dress it up, I said. That's right. I don't like that, Pastor. I don't like it. And they say this is too strict. Oh, no. <laughs> this ain't too strict. This protects your daughter. Yeah. This protects your children. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're living in a society now where the preachers are telling you, oh, God ain't looking at your hour. He looking at your heart. God want the whole package to fall in place. That's right. Whole package to get right. When the heart get right, everything on the outside falls in place. That's right. That's right. What did she do? Read quick so I can knock off. Back in Mark chapter 6 and verse 22. And what? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced... And please, Herod. She please, Herod. And them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, so ask of me whatsoever ask thou wilt. Whatever it is you yeah. want. And I will give it thee. I give you whatever you want. And he swear unto and he her. Swear it unto her. Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will, I will give it thee. Yes. Unto the half I, of my I kingdom. I give you half of what I own. And she went forth and said unto her mother, she What had shall an old I ask? wicked mama and asked her, Mama, what should I ask? Yeah. And she said, The head of John the Baptist. Ask to kill the man that's giving us trouble. That's right. Kill the man of God. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Real quick. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king and asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and by. In a charge of the head of John the Baptist. I want you to kill the man of God. And the king was exceeding sorry. Yeah. Yet for his oath sake yeah. and for their sakes with You know why nothing. he was sorrow? King ain't had no idea she was going to ask that. He that. talked too quick. Yeah, that's right. True. And that's what happened to a lot of men now. You ran your mouth too fast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I will never change. And all of a sudden the woman come inside the church and you done took God and threw him way over your shoulder. That's right. <laughs> took the word church down now and call it center. A center. Love center. Yeah. That's right. Do you know how many women run many of these churches? Mm. Lead the preacher by the nose and by the ear. Yeah. And he won't take a God-given stand in some of the churches. His wife run the church. Amen. Certain things she won't let him preach. Yeah. She won't let him preach because she get upset. That's right. And uh, she lay her husband out. Won't speak to him on the way home. <laughs> and that scares him. Scares he be driving looking at him. <laughs> That's true. That's right. Well, That's true. How a service was something today, Mabel, wasn't it? She just sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Mabel, the, the Lord move in a mighty way. Yeah, moving. Yeah. Amen. Mabel, you, you know the way God is strong. That's true. And she'll look at him and tell him, shut your so-and-so mouth up. Yeah. Mm. That mo, my, my, blah, 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 blah word don't mean nothing to me. Yeah. I'm just going to church just to keep you looking good. I really don't want nothing to do with church. Something. There's a lot of you preacher wives that like that. She really don't want nothing to do with church. She's just going just not to embarrass you. Yeah. But behind closed doors, she's a hellion. <laughs> a hellion God knows. Amen. Laying ultimatums to you, laying threats to you, and you pleading with her. Yeah. Yeah. And then once you start pleading and bargaining, you done. That's right. That's right. You're going to compromise for a skirt and split the church in half? God forbid, imagine my wife at this late date come to me and say, God called and sent me to preach the gospels, honey. I got a revelation. I'm going to ask her, what you been smoking? That's right. That's right. That's right. What kind of plants you growing? I know you got a green thumb, but you growing something that I don't know nothing about. <laughs> what do you What do you grow? What do you grow? 
You doing something for uh, municipal purposes here? <laughs> I don't care what you say, I'm Carlos at the... Oh, you are? Mm. Not here, you won't. Well, you're going to have to do something. I ain't got to do nothing but live holy. <laughs> no, you're going to have to do something. Sit down or else go. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to sit down, then I'm going to disfellowship you out the church. Mm. You try to bring that rotten doctrine here, then I will have to put my wife out. Yeah. Don't want to say what? Give me the 16th chapter of the book of Romans. Romans. That's right. Romans chapter 16. Last two verses. And the verse. Romans chapter 16, verses 17 and 18. Listen. Now I beseech you, brother. I beseech you, brother. Mark, mark them. Which caused which the vision and offenses. And offenses. Contrary, contrary to the doctrine. To the doctrine. Which you have learned. Which you have learned. And avoid, avoid them. them. For they that are such. They that are such. Serve, so, serve not our Lord serve Jesus not Christ. not Lord Jesus Christ. But their own belly. Read on. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. I guarantee if my wife would get up and say, God call us in to preach the gospel, some nuts in here would follow her. She'd have some followers, Pastor. So I say, what? As hard as you preach? I preach hard, but what I preach is not getting in a lot of folk. Right. Some is here for the popularity of the church. That's true. That's Being right. here for popularity of first church don't mean nothing. Jesus is coming. <laughs> this right. word better get in you. Oh, yeah. When the word of God is in you, no false prophet under the sun can turn you against what's written here. That's right. So I'm saying, you see how mean he is? He said he'll put his wife out. I most certainly will. You now mean, I beseech you, brethren. You mean to tell me the Bible says in the book of Romans, now I beseech you, brother. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses and contrary you think to the doctrine. to my wife? Right. Mark. I thought she's the first lady. Not here. Oh, no. First lady is dead. Her name is Eve. That's right. That's right. First lady been gone a long time ago. I never met her. That's right. First lady is my mama. I don't mean my mama Josephine neither. I mean Eve, the Eve. mother of all Wonderful. living. That's right. That's right. Now I beseech you, brethren. When are you going to realize the church is not related to nobody? The Amen. church belongs to God. Oh, yeah. Amen. Ain't no family church. It belongs to God. Yeah. That's why some of you fellas that want to be preachers, you will never make it across the finish line. Too weak. No. Your wife rule you. Your wife boss you. Yeah. Your wife wear the britches. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, All the wife got to do is threaten your bed and you are turn on God. Yeah. That's right. You got to be willing to give up anything and everything. Your oh, wife yeah. in the beginning may walk with it. Next thing you know, she turn her back on it. Then your bed turned to Alaska. Then what? Then what? Now you got to preach the same thing. Like you never had a wife. But this I say, brethren. Let me get by before this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 29. A lot of folk think I'm making this up, but this is written. Give oh, chapter yeah. and verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 29. Says what? But this I say, this brethren. This I say, brethren. The time is short. Oh, oh, I told you. It remains. It remains. That both they that have they wives. They that have wives. Be as though they had none. Wonderful. If you are married, you got to preach like you don't have no That's wife. That's right. That's right. Gotta ask God to make you like you don't have none. That's right. When God make you like that, and your wife may not speak to you because she, she's mad at you because of what you preach. Yeah. And even she knows the Bible, but it hurt her so bad she don't speak to you. Yeah. Turn her back to you, be crying, wetting yeah. up the pillow. You go try to console her. Get off me. That's true. That's right. Get off me. Don't touch me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Might as well lay there and start singing and clapping. He's mine, <laughs> mine, mine, <laughs> gee. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> eh? Amen. Wife get mad at you, won't speak to you, won't cook your food. You walk around hungry, folks think you're on a long fast. You ain't fasting. Not fasting. She won't cook you nothing. That's right. And you got to come back and preach the same thing if you got the do it on an empty stomach. That's true. Yeah. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. God talking. It remains it remain that both they, that, they have wives, that have wives be as though they had none. This is not preached in hardly no church. No, no church no. Because in most churches, the preacher and his wife make the decisions for the congregation. It is the right. scriptures that make all the decisions for God's people. That's right. That's the way the church is supposed to be governed. Yeah. Viewers, 
your preacher, does his wife and his family make all the decisions for the congregation? Mm. Do they determine where all the money go? Mm. Preacher is the CEO and the wife is the treasurer yep. and the daughter is the next treasurer and the son is the third treasurer in charge. Amen. Family business, yep. family racket. Amen. This is a soul-searching gospel. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Some of you sisters say, I want to marry a minister in First Church. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure? He better be made up like the book. That's right. And you better be made up like the book in order to stand behind him. Yeah. My wife don't love how I sound all the time and I'm preaching this. No way. Many things I preach hurt her feelings. It hurt, if it hurt mine, I know it hurt hers. Yeah. But I can't hurt her feelings, then pet her up from preaching. Right. No. I know many things I preach. She, <sighs> a little pointy nostrils flare up. Yeah. I go home, what? What's for dinner? Sometimes she look at me. Sometimes I pick with her. You know the word of God is good. <laughs> and she'll look at me. Sometimes she'll say, you know what? You said such and such and such a thing. I said, no, I didn't. She said, I heard you. I said, the Bible said it. Then she'll say, well, let me backtrack. I said, all right, you go ahead. She'll tell you, I pin her heels down with the Bible. Amen. Why? I know she's hurting. Yeah. You can't. It's like a parent spank a child. You don't spank a child, then pet it. Right. Yeah, that's not parenting. You don't reprimand a child, then pet it. That's right. When God bring the word, I can't pet nobody. That's right. Nobody. God that's ain't right. petting me and I ain't petting you. That's right. I ain't having God get me, no. Any brothers that's a minister and got a mind to minister in what you preach from that Bible, your wife get angry at you, then you're going to apologize? Yeah. You better not step in this pulpit again. That's right. You ain't fit to preach to a group of alley cats. That's true. <laughs> that's true. You're not fit. You're not fit. You don't apologize for telling the truth. What's the matter with you? That's right. God can't even trust you. Yeah. God can't depend on you. No. If your wife say I ain't gonna sleep with you the, the rest of our marriage until you until ice you grow ice on your face to replace a beard, then you keep preaching the truth. Keep preaching it. That's right. Why? Because the Bible says. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth Lord, that both they that have wives. Brother, this is some tough stuff. Oh, yeah. Be as though they had none. Oh, yes. So you sure you want to be a preacher? Are you sure? Oh, it's in my blood. Ain't nothing in your blood. <laughs> Ain't no Bible talk that foolishness. Preaching is in my blood. That's a lie. That's Ain't a lie. nothing in your blood. That's a lie. <laughs> it's in my blood. That's a lie. That's a lie. No Don't scripture. Bring me that. that foolish talk. There ain't no Bible ever no said scripture preaching is in your blood. No. Preaching ain't in nobody's blood. No, it's not. Not in mine. Am I right, Frank? Oh, yes. That's what Paul said. I set everything in order when I come. That's right. Hey, Amen. Your relationship may be beautiful now, but you get up here. Hey, Amen. Don't expect for your wife. To like everything that come out of the Bible. I don't That's know right. why men think because she's your wife, she's going to like everything. She being your wife ain't got nothing to do with it. She's human just like anybody else. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I got a godly woman and got a good woman. But I do not expect for her to always agree with what I'm preaching. No. Why? She's human like anybody human. else. Yeah. She know what's right, but her flesh don't agree with it. I, look, if I know what's right and I don't feel like doing it, who is her? Amen. Wonderful. I'm brutally honest. 
Amen. That's right. Sometimes that stuff burn her britches up. And I know when it got her too. <laughs> huh? I know and I can just see it in her walk. She walk a certain way. <laughs> huh? When the word got her, it changed her walk. She walk a certain way. <laughs> and I'll be walking behind her and say, I got you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Got her, I said. Oh, yes. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Amen. It's wonderful, brother. You may marry a brother who's not a preacher, but then later on he end up becoming one. That's right. What is it like you're going to tell your wife? You know, I'm thinking about going for the ministry. Not, oh, no. No, you ain't. You're going to do that. I'm leaving. Really? Mm. <laughs> Really? <laughs> that, that brother sound like a starter on an engine with that. <laughs> huh? Married you, your brother. And then you tell her, look, I got in mind, you know, you know, Pastor Jennings, he trained men. He's he's training men. You know, and I think I may want to be trained to be a minister. Whoa, no, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you end up there sounding like that crazy man? I ain't living with you. Mm -hmm. And you tell her, no, it's not about him. It's about standing for the word. Right. Yeah, well, you, we can stand for the word just the way we are. Just the way we are. <laughs> then an argument ensue. Yeah. I, want, I want to help save souls. They can be saved without you. <laughs> yes. I mean, she's going at it. Not by any means do she want that under her roof. Yeah. And it's best you see that before you get up here. That's right. Because if she's pleading the blood and all that, why, before you up here, <laughs> you get up here. When I was in falsehood, I've seen preachers' wives get up in church and physically fight their husband. Coming up in falsehood, I've seen a lot. Hinton was preaching for a bishop who's dead now, Elder Claiborne. And Hinton was preaching against women preachers. And I never forget it. Elder Claiborne wife jumped up in the church while her husband was sitting right there. While Hinton was preaching, she went up to Hinton. Blam! Wow. Knocked him upside of his head. Wow. Hinton said, Hope the devil's working. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. He said, Hope the devil's working. And she was Lord. coming back to swing on him the second time. All service had to stop. Hinton was bobbing and weaving. <laughs> Elder Claiborne jumped out the chair, had to grab his wife by the arms and wrestle her down. Hinton said, all right, all right, everybody, we're going to get a bit of benediction so we can go. Elder Claiborne got his hands full. Wow. Hinton gave the benediction, and his wife, I, I must have been maybe like seven or eight or nine, but I remember. Hinton was preaching that the woman cannot use up authority over the man, and Elder Claiborne's wife was yelling at the top of her lungs, I'm over him. I'm over him. I'm over him. And he was tussling with his wife. Hinton, Hinton said, all right, y'all, come on, let's leave. <laughs> let's leave Elder Claiborne and his wife here. And she was yelling, I'm over him. He ain't over me. I'm over him. This is what I, I'm telling you. What, listen, as a young man, I experienced a lot. But I have seen preachers' wives physically attack their husbands and attack preachers right in church. Yeah. Wow. That's something. And it, yeah, it, I mean, she went at him. Hint, Hinton was bombing and weaving. <laughs> she told her, I'm over him. I'm over him. Elder Claiborne said, you ain't over me. And she swung on her husband. Mm. I'm over you. He grabbed her. Held the claim ball and said, look, Hinton, you better go ahead and go. Hinton <laughs> said, the devil working. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so you young men that got the pulpit in mind, yeah. 
you better think it over real good. And don't be naive and think that every woman can take it being married to a minister. That's right. That's not cut out for every marriage. No. No, it is not. No. I don't care if she got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Every woman is not cut out to be married to no hardcore preacher. That's right. No. That's right. That's true. Mm -mm. You better hear the old man. Oh, yeah. Stop letting your eyes sparkling at this marble. <laughs> Every woman is not cut out for it. You got to be cut out for it. That's right. And heaven going to have to cut you out. That's right. Before I got married, my role was plain and simple that I would never marry until God showed me my wife. I mean, God had to show her to me. Amen. Amen. The reason why I wanted God showed her to me because God showed me my work first. Yeah. I didn't just want to marry anybody. Next thing I know, I'm just going through all type of madness because of what the message God gave me. I didn't want that. No. Right. Amen. So I prayed, hallelujah, and asked God to show me. Yeah. It was even prophesied to me who, was, who I was going to marry, and I didn't pay the prophecy no mind. <laughs> Why? Because I knew I don't want to have to marry her. I mean, my father came to me, he said, God showed me you're going to marry this sister. I got quiet, I listened. He said, what you think about it? I said, I don't. <laughs> he said, what you mean you don't? I said, if God don't show me, I ain't marrying nobody. <laughs> He looked at me, he was shaving, i never forget it. He stopped and looked at me, he said, you said what? I said, if God don't show me, I ain't marrying nobody. I said, if God showed you, that's your business. <laughs> My father looked at me and laughed. I said, that's your business, Pop. I said, you married already. You married and all of us is here. <laughs> I said, so he showed it to you, nice and dandy. <laughs> but if he don't show me, I ain't marrying nobody. And I held that. I was going to hold that rule till I died. I was going to hold that rule so strict until if God would not show me nobody, today, I still would have been single. Wow. Because I understood the detail of this work. Right. And I wasn't willing to settle for nothing less oh, no. than what God showed me. Amen. I wasn't willing. wasn't willing at all and I helped in that and then God showed me yeah. I didn't ask my wife would you marry me I just told her look we get married Wonderful. we get married Wonderful. she looked at me and just said <laughs> she said oh, aren't you going to ask I said no <laughs> You say, well, how you know I want you? I said, I know you want me and I want you. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I me, mean, how do I know? But in my position, God showed me this work, showed me what it consists of, uh -huh. and called me to the apostleship. Yeah. Mm. So I wanted God to carve out That's wonderful. who and what. That's it. I wanted him to carve it out. I refused to take it upon myself and was going to choose anybody. And I live by that law. Wonderful, brother. And I'm 58 years old. And if God would not have shown me to this day, I would be single at 58 because I wasn't willing to marry nobody. Wonderful. And I knew what this work consists of. Uh -huh. I don't want no liability. I want an asset. What? Right, right. <laughs> so I waited. Hallelujah. I waited. I waited. Wonderful, brother. 
and was not in a hurry to run to the altar. Oh, no. She Wonderful. wasn't in a hurry either. I waited. Former preacher said, if you and Sister Darlene get married, I hope both of y'all drop dead at the altar. That's what he said. Said it opened in front of the church. That's right. He said, if y'all get married, I hope you drop dead. That's what he said. My wife cried. I said, don't you worry about that. He ain't going to marry us no way. She said, how you know he's the pastor? I said, he's a false prophet. <laughs> she said, what? I said, he's a false prophet. She said, well, he's your uncle. I said, I'm related to a false prophet. <laughs> she said, well, who's going to marry us? I said, my father's going to marry us. How's that going to happen? I said, don't you worry about that. That's right. I told her, God gave me the vision. Yeah. Just believe it and follow it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And he did. Hallelujah. Glory. God gave me the vision. And he did. He did. That's right. I said, believe it and follow it. Amen. That's right. And it worked out exactly. Just like I told you. Amen. Amen. So you got in mind, men and young brothers, to come up here. You got a lot to consider. You better take your time. Take your time. You tell that lies in your blood. <laughs> Take some vitamin D or blood thinner. Blood thinner. <laughs> Ain't nothing in your blood but sin. Ain't nothing in your blood. Ain't no Bible talk like that. I don't no. believe it. When anyone say I want to preach, it's in my blood. I'm going to tell you to your face. You say lie. Ain't nothing in your blood. That's right. The Bible never said preaching is in your blood. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This type of job being away from your wife like this. He's not even, he's not even calling sin, but he's away from his wife with me preaching. That's true. Doing the work of God. That's right. Yeah. Your wife got to be cut out for that type of stuff. Sure. Yeah. Got to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You going, 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 going. She ain't going to like you going. That's right. An old fool woman saying, huh, if that was my husband, I'd be glad he's gone. Well, you know what? I don't want no wife who always glad I'm going. No. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. You always glad I'm going? I'm ready to go. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. So you young brother looking at the pulpit, you got a lot to think of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. You got a lot to consider. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Wife may not believe every time you go, you're going to preach. Amen. Doubt may set in. Yeah. You ain't going to preach. <laughs> you're going to meet Eve somewhere. <laughs> Amen. 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 I want to say, well, that's the devil. That's when the devil works. Ain't always the devil, just the flesh. That's all. Yeah. Wife get tired of you going and start doubting you actually doing what God sent you to do. Yep. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We've been pastoring for 38 years and been preaching for 45 years, going on 46 years of preaching. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. It hasn't been easy. For my wife, me going all the time. Mm -mm. But not at no time did she try to stand in the way of the work of the Lord. Wonderful. Not at no time. <laughs> they didn't like me going all the time. Sometimes she'd tell me, stay home with me. Yeah. <laughs> stay home. Stay home. You tired. You look tired. Yeah. And I, I do. I know I look tired. I tell her I got a job to do. She said, I know you do. But I just want you to know what I'm thinking. I said, I know what you're thinking. Wonderful. Wonderful. Stay home with me. She said, I can't keep up with you. I said, you ain't supposed to. I'm sent to the world. She said, I get tired going to one trip and I ain't preaching. <laughs> She said, I don't understand how you do it. You're constantly just going, 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 going. When you get home, you got to come home, a few hours of rest. Now you're on that job site, that job yeah. site, that job site. Next thing you know, you're back on the plane. And she said, I don't understand how you do it. And you're not sleeping all night. You can't sleep. And then you're right. 
I get a couple of hours and I'm up. Up, tired, want to sleep, can't. She out. <laughs> Gone. Yeah. Oh. One time I'm like, Daddy, you sleep? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Gone. <laughs> got to go preach the word of God. Oh, so yeah. you young brothers that got the itch, got the itch. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Got right the itch. That's right. I'm telling you from what I know, 38 years pastoring, 45 years preaching, going on 46 years. <laughs> preaching the word of God. It's wonderful. 46 years. Yes. I have a whole lot of experience. Oh, yes. yeah. Amen. Amen. You better take this advice. Oh, yeah. Do not be in a hurry to run up here. Don't be in a hurry. Close out with Acts 2 38, which says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right, sinner. Amen. Time for you to repent of your sins and make a change and give God your life and stop being out here being a long-term fool. <laughs> That's right. You know, sometimes people are long-term fools. <laughs> repent. And be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. Get your sins washed away. What did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody want to get right? And repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand on your feet now if you want to be right. Amen. Glory to God. All of you that are standing, come on to the front. All of you that are standing, come on around to the front. This is a good educational message today. You that are watching. Make sure no woman come take your church. Right. And make sure your dumb preacher don't sell all the church assets and give it to her. That's right. Many of you watching don't like what I say, but you know what? Many of you can bear witness. Yeah. How your church was one thing. And then something happened, my God, and then everything done turned upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Come on back to Bible, human family. Come on back to the Bible. We're glad for the souls that is coming now, getting ready to go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know many is not used to this type of frank talking preaching. In your face preaching, direct. Amen. Unpologetic. My job is to tell you the reality of life. And what I'm preaching is real. That's right. Many get offended, but there are people out there by the thousands who have experienced exactly the things that I preach about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They just want me to say it a little nicer. <laughs> and I won't. And you won't. No, sir. That's I'm right. going to tell you this right to your face. Bold. Oh, yeah. Sound. Yeah. So your spirit can be troubled over it oh, yeah. until you give your life to God. Amen. All right. Go give me the correct time, brothers. They got that on military time. 1526, I guess that's 325. They got 1500 hours on there. They got to change that to military time on it. All right, come on back. Prayer begin at 530. God be our helper. Let us all stand. Brother Dan will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your goodnesses and your kindnesses and your tender mercy you've shown towards us. We thank you, great God, for this, O God, thy word. We pray you let it go out over the airways continually, that it will affect the hearts of men and women everywhere. Open their understanding to thy word, O God, and give them a heart to repent of their sins. Be baptized in your name, O God. Bless the sick and the afflicted, O God. Have mercy and continued guidance upon our pastor and leader. O oh God, his family likewise, and all the ministering brethren everywhere. Help us to do thy will, O oh God. And count us worthy, O oh God, when you shall come, that we shall be found without spot and without wrinkle, without blemish before you. Because we know, O oh God, that the dead do not praise thee, neither them that go down in silence, but we will bless thy name from this time forth and forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen.